What's the game thing? Um, that's weird. Okay, fair enough. Hey everyone, how you doing? Hey Purple Lee, Stickman, Owen, Abdulovich, Hunter Ellis as well. How are you all doing today? You were playing Pez? Oh, I'm sorry to interrupt your Pez, your Pez gameplay. <laughs> so um, I just figured I'd do some random, some completely random runs today. Just as a sort of mini stream because I thought to myself... I thought to myself, well, I'll do some runs with some of your requests because um, I thought to myself, do I want to stream tomorrow or tonight? And I was like, I don't really fancy doing it tomorrow. I kind of want a day to myself tomorrow. So I was like, I'll do it tonight instead. And then we can talk about the Nations League final. We can talk about the European qualifiers that are going on as well during the stream. I think that'll be a cool idea. Potentially. But, yeah. So we'll do a few of your requests on stream. Just mini runs, no qualification, because that'll take too long. But, um, you know, just uh, have a good time and hopefully um, have some fun on stream. Hey, Sean, how you doing? Pez has an unlicensed Canada and you're using them? Nice. Canada, always a good nation to use. Hey, Sir Fluffy. On, set, on Friday, Poland defeated Germany for the second time in their history. Come on, Poland. Didn't Germany have like 30 shots on goal and didn't bury a single one? Like, the Kai Havertz effect, effect right? <laughs> that was like 28 or 30 shots on goal for Germany and they still couldn't score. That's pretty wild, isn't it? Imagine having that many shots on... That's, that's a game of FIFA right there for Germany. Um, I just saw that the Netherlands lost against Italy in the third place playoff of the Nations League. And obviously Croatia um, play Spain later. Am I going to catch the Nations League final later? Um, I'll probably still be streaming at that point. So maybe we can talk about it as it's going on. But obviously I won't, I won't um, be able to watch it on stream. Because I'll be on this game. But yeah, we can talk about it as it's going on. That's good, Abdulovich. You're making friends. You're making friends from the channel. I like that when other people sort of make friends from other subscribers. If you, if you know. Yeah. Hey, Fionn. How you doing? Maybe it can be on the side? Maybe. If only I was able to get it up on screen, um, as in, like, uh, without copyright and stuff like that. Um, is this qualifying? No, it's not. But you'll be pleased to know, Stickman, that I have started your request on Sri Lanka. Um, so, yeah, um, I'm in the middle of doing that. Abdulovic wants Serbia. I do feel like doing Serbia. I was thinking maybe like Chile, Serbia and someone else. Maybe Ethiopia if Liquid turns up. And I've just seen Scotland from um, Sean as well. That could be a mini run because Scotland aren't that brilliant on this game. I'm just praying that my Xbox doesn't crash. <laughs> so yeah. But I have done... I have done part of my Sri Lanka run. I won't give too much away, but it's quite fun. Thomas should make a request since he's donated twice. He's already made a request for a, um, a 2010 North Macedonia run, which I will do after, um, I'll do after Stickman's request, which should be this week, I think. Portugal run could be a good one. I want Bangladesh. My jersey for them is coming soon. And the match against Germany was also a beautiful farewell to Blasis Zosovsky. Oh, wow. Nice. He's actually retiring from international football. That's a shame. I remember when he was, like, super good. Like, super good at Dortmund. 
Do you remember like him and Lewandowski in that team? Man, what a team. What a team. Hey Joaquin, how you doing? I was a bit late today because it was Father's Day as well. So I had work in the morning. I came home in the afternoon. Uh, obviously Father's Day stuff. Are we going to choose who we want? What, on this stream? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll put I'll put it in a poll and you guys can um, vote on it sort of thing. So I've, I've already got four options, so I can put it on the poll in a minute. I think Scotland, Chile, um, oh, who else was it? I can't remember now. Uh, Serbia, that's it. And um, someone else, I can't remember. If you're wondering how long I'll be live, probably around about three to four hours today. So, yeah. But don't worry, I'm... I'm for the people who wanted requests for um, 2010 runs or 2014 runs, I am getting... I am... Uh, I am getting there. I've got... A, I'm buried under tons of requests. But at the same time, it's good to have tons of requests because it will keep coming... Pe well, people keep coming back. So, you know, if I don't choose Serbia, that's my fate. I'm scared. Bangladesh? I could do that. So we can add those four teams in because those were suggested first. So, yeah, we can do that. The annoying thing about 2014, like I said in the past, is um, with the team selection screen, you have to do it manually when... On 2010, you can literally just press randomize and it'll randomize a ton of teams for you. So 2014 kind of takes a little bit of an L in that department when you want to just quickly set up a run. But it's fine, I guess. So I'll put in the poll. I'll make a poll, an early poll for you guys since you're already in. Um, oops, no, that's a Q&A. I don't want that. Um... Yeah, Sir Fluffy, I really appreciate it. The loyalty, I love it. No problem, stick man. Right, poll. So, um, I'm going to add Serbia, uh, Scotland, Scotland, Bangladesh, and um, who is it? Chile. Chile. Those four nations were suggested first. So I'll put it up there for a couple of minutes. No, it didn't, did it? Um, 2014. All of them were pretty... All of them were pretty sort of average teams, weren't they? You know, you didn't really get anybody crazy qualify. I'll leave it up there just for a couple of minutes and for a lot for more people to come in and stuff. Did you guys see any of the qualifiers that happened on Friday and Saturday? Which one stood out to you the most? I was going to talk about North Macedonia bottling it for against Ukraine. That was huge in my opinion. Um what else happened? Scotland beating Norway in extra time. That's pretty crazy. Um Scotland look like they are doing well in the first few games. Uh, Wales getting destroyed by Armenia as well. Um, Armenia were actually really, really, really good. Uh, <laughs> like the goals that that uh, Armenia scored were actually world class. If you watch the highlights, all the highlights are available on YouTube as well. If you want to watch them. <laughs> Serbia on top. Keep your fingers crossed for Poland in Tuesday's match against Moldova. That should be an easy W for you guys. Should be an easy W. I remember Chowdhury was bossing it in my 2014 Bangladesh episode. It's a shame that both my Bangladesh gameplays didn't go further than they could have done. If you know what I mean. But obviously we'll redo Bangladesh in the future for qualifying. But, um, yeah, I can't, can't wait to redo some more nations on qualifying. <clears throat> I 
Liechtenstein losing against Luxembourg. I think that was coming, to be fair. It doesn't really surprise me. Luxembourg are definitely a way better team than they used to be. Bosnia qualified in 2014 and it was their first appearance. That's true, Sean. We always forget that. And I always forget that. I'm not European, so I root for Wales. Ah, okay. What do you think about the Armenia, Armenia match? Was it a little bit of a surprise that Armenia beat Wales? I thought it was quite a surprise that Armenia beat Wales. I mean, it was surprising that... On paper, obviously, I don't know any Armenian footballers apart from Mkhitaryan. So it's just like, oh, okay. Um, you know, <laughs> it's a bit strange. Hi, Oliver. How are you doing? I should do 2006 qualifying more. Funny you should say that. I do have a video on my laptop that I randomly did ages ago with um, dot DR Congo full qualifying on 2006. The only reason why I haven't edited it is because it's such a long video and I always look at it and I go, oh my god, like this is going to take absolutely ages. Uh, Czechia won 3 0 against Faroe Islands. That That's a given, 100% given, that is. Honduras, a bit of surprise? Yeah, yeah. 2010 Honduras um, had some good players. Wilson Palacios comes to mind when I think of that team. Very, very good player. One Finnish player everyone knows, Puki. Mm hmm. <laughs> I like the look of Armenia, dude. Like, I'm not saying they will qualify, but the way they handled Wales in Cardiff, um, you know, they were they were good. They were very good. In my opinion, which World Cup game is the best in FIFA? I've got to say, I always say this, but um. 2010 for Arcade and Fun is the best. 2014 is the best if you want realism. Like, if you want realism. 100%. That's that's my thing on it. Um, 2006 is... It's good, but at the because it's back on the older controls of where you're locked to a grid, it's very dated. And um, that's why it can't quite get into the top two for me. But I still appreciate it and I still like it. So, yeah. Can't believe Haaland might not be in the Euros. You never know. Will Haaland be this player that is good at club level but not good internationally? Um, will, he, will he be that kind of player? Norway, they do have good players. They do. You know, you're, you're looking at Odegaard just in behind him. Uh, Elia Nussi, does he still play? He's a pretty decent player. Um... I don't know any other Norwegians. Uh, I'll saw off as well. He's pretty good. Hey Garfield, how you doing? So the poll, I'm looking at it right now. Um, it looks like Bangladesh have won this one. Chile got 0%. That's like an all-time low. Um, yeah. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you so much. Hey Lev, how you doing? Um... Did I see this Norway versus Scotland game yesterday? Yes, I did. And um, it was pretty incredible comeback from Scotland. Pretty incredible. Abdulovic, Turkey will qualify second. And uh, I, I can't really see. Uh, Armenia. Oh, Armenia. Got you. Will finish third and Croatia will be first. Yeah, I think so as well. I think so as well. Thank you, Sean. Sorry, Abdulovic. The the crowd has spoken. They want they want Bangladesh. They want to give me a challenge in this run. So we're gonna to have to replace an Asian team for Bangladesh just to make it a bit more realistic. So we'll replace Korea Republic. Um, we'll put in Bangladesh, and what I'll do is I'll just replace some of the the mid tier teams in this World Cup. I won't replace any of the the bigger teams. So. Mid-tier teams, uh, I won't put replace Bosnia, but Cameroon can be replaced. Put some smaller teams in there. Let's put the Comoros in there, why not? Um, who else? Uh, Ecuador, yeah, you can you can go. And uh, Bolivia, yeah, let's have Bolivia in there. I'll vote for Serbia next time. Armenia have one striker in 2014 with really good pace and strength. Um, from Group A, I wish Georgia to go through. That, that would be awesome. You like McDonald's, Oliver? Yeah, me too. I haven't had McDo I haven't had McDonald's for ages though, dude. Um, Scotland scored two goals in two minutes. Yeah, that's it's 
it's insane how Scotland do that because Scotland a few years ago wouldn't have done that. Um, they would have just, um, well, they would have just like sort of crumbled, wouldn't they? You know, typical Scottish fashion. I'll put Sri Lanka in there for Stickman if he's still about. Uh, you want Armenia in this one? Yeah, I can put Armenia in. Um, let's put him in for Bosnia. Yeah, put Armenia in there. Um, thank you, Patrick. I hope you're good. Poland drew probably the easiest group possible. You reckon? They had a really good win against Germany, although Germany had 30 shots on goal. 30 shots on goal, man. That's it. That's it's wild. Um, if they're doing that, who I should have Honduras? Let's put a little Caribbean island in there. Uh, let's put Monster out. We got to, we got to have some of these tiny teams in there, you know, just to flatten it out and make it a little bit uh, better. We'll keep Russia in there for Sean because I know he likes Russia. Um, uh, I want to replace Switzerland. I always do it, but Switzerland are just like I don't know. I just don't really like playing them that much. <laughs> I just I I'm sorry, Switzerland fans, but I just don't really like playing too much. Let's put Georgia in there and um, the United States. Mm, do I want them in here? They're quite a frustrating team to play against. Um, no, let's replace Mexico because Mexico took a massive L against um, uh, Thingley, uh, uh, USA. We'll put Serbia in for Abdulovic and we'll leave it at that. Um, Puerto Rico beat Suriname on penalties. One game away from classify, uh, qualifying to the Gold Cup for the first time. Come on, Puerto Rico. Let's go. Let's go. Can you put in Canada? Sure. I'll replace USA quickly. Let's put in Canada. But that, that'll be the last one I'll put in. We'll put in that one. There we go. I'm, I'm happy with that, guys. I'm happy. I'm happy with that World Cup. It's a mixture of 2014 and my own one as well. J replace Japan with Malaysia? Okay, Patrick. No problem. I'll do that as well. Since you always love Malaysia... Let's see where Malaysia go in this one. Um, but, yeah. Did I see Andy Selva's hat-trick against Kazakhstan the other night? I dreamt of it. And I think we're all... Uh, I think we're always um, dreaming of it. But at the same time... Um, you know, San Marino... Didn't they score an own goal against Kazakhstan? You know that post I put up on the community thing? Like, that guy who runs that account... Like he's gonna, he's so he's so distraught, isn't he? I mean, we're all San Marino fans at heart. We all are. Papaya's gonna be happy, of course, of course. I'll be so happy if um, Croatia beats Spain tonight. I'll be very happy. So these are the groups, but they're too lifelike to the actual World Cup. So I'm gonna randomize it. So like we do usually, three, two, one, boom. What group do we have? We have... Oh my god, really? Uh, <laughs> um, I mean, I'm not looking... Uh, I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. That is a horrible, horrible group. Um, we got Prime 2014 Costa Rica, 2014 Uruguay, and the Netherlands. I'm... I'm uh, you know what? Screw it. I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Just for a mini run to start off with, I'll do it. Can you do a double run? I could do a double run if you want me to in the next run. If you really want me to. Because this Bangladesh one's only going to be about 45 minutes long. <laughs> uh, I want to challenge myself. I want to challenge myself. This is a group of death. This is actually a group of death. But this is the team that we got. And um, yeah, well... There's the Chowdhury guy that you guys were on about. Um, <laughs> yeah, our best player is these guys. Robin and Hussein. 83 peso. That's really good for 2014. Um, other than that, nobody on the bench really that can turn the tide of this run, I guess. What difficulty on... Legendary. Legendary. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, why is it on Legend? Oh, did I do my last one on Legendary? I don't know. I usually play on World Class. No, I'm not doing it on Legendary. Not on, not on 2014. I don't know why it was set to Legendary. Maybe it was because of the Subscriber World Cup. But um, yeah. 
Um, we're definitely not doing it on Legendary. I don't want to pull my hair out on this game. Legendary on 2014 and Legendary on 2010 is just um, worlds apart from each other. Like 2014 is just like rock hard compared to that. Who wins the CONCACAF final, USA versus Canada? That's a tough one to call, but I think USA. Um, they dispatched Mexico very well um, the other day, didn't they? It was a shame, though, that Mexico had to ruin it at the end. Some of their fans had to ruin it. But, um, yeah, lots of red cards in that game. And, um, yeah, just, just a decent um, sort of rivalry game. All right, so we're at the World Cup with Bangladesh. Is this your prediction? 2-2 against Uruguay? I hope so. That's probably my best chance, I guess, of actually doing anything in this. I think Canada might win since the US is missing some key players. Oh, I didn't know that. Pulisic was really good the other night, wasn't he, against Mexico? But someone said to me the other day um, when... I can't remember who it was, but they said that... Um, yeah, Mexico football is in the mud, and I probably agree with them right now. It's probably their lowest <laughs> their lowest point. This group's all knockout. It's group stage. We're just starting. You, uh, Bangladesh versus Uruguay. We're in a group of death. The game gave me a group of death to start off with. Not a good um, way to start. I'm currently doing a World Cup qualification from Bangladesh in 2010. Got into the second round of qualification. Managed to beat teams like Australia and South Korea. Nice. McKenney and Dest is gone. Oh, that's that's going to be a bit hurtful for the US's chance. Egypt scored 1-0 against South, South Sudan in a friendly. Please tell me it was Salah. Please. <laughs> I like it when Salah scores for Egypt. Who do you have, Spain or Croatia? It's a tough one, but obviously, I well, I really want Croatia to win, but I have an inkling that Spain is going to do it. I have an inkling. I just think that Spain will win, but my heart says Croatia, and I want Croatia to win an international trophy. Luka Modric deserves it, and that whole squad does as well. Twenty fourteen Uruguay versus twenty fourteen Bangladesh. How will this get on? Probably not very well. He's trying to murk me. Oh my god, man. Twenty fourteen is literally like one of the most <laughs> hardest World Cup games ever. Salah carries Egypt, he does. And Liverpool as well sometimes. Chowdhury should hurry. I hope he can score. This is like Arsenal versus Uruguay. You're saying that Bangladesh are a bunch of bottlers? I don't think Bangladesh has ever bottled anything, to be fair. Maybe in cricket. I don't know about cricket, though. Ooh, okay, Uruguay. I'm doing Hong Kong on 2014. Got Tajikistan in the first round. That's what I like about 2014 as well. 2014 has way more realistic qualifying than uh, 2010 and the beauty of 2014 is if you shuffle it um, on 2010 if you shuffle the qualification groups it only shuffles for that region but if you shuffle it on 2014 it shuffles the whole world which is just like well it's just amazing because you get different teams qualify each time and stuff like that so yeah Salah's not playing ah. Luka Modric's like wine, the older the better. He is class, and he's very underrated. If he wins that Nations League trophy tonight, then all-time Croatia's best player. If he, is, if he isn't already, then it just cements it, doesn't it? Bangladesh haven't been in anything to bowl. Yeah. Uruguay just play it out there. This Uruguay team... Um, very good. Very, very good team in 2014. 2010 as well. They went quite far. Hey, Yane. How you doing? Come on, Croatia. Yeah, Macedonia choked. I was about to say to you, what happened in that game, man? You were 2-0 up against Ukraine. 
flying in that game and then Ukraine just pulled it back and you had a red card as well which is just like how how if you're going to play like that against Ukraine then you um England are beating you 100% on Monday peak Uruguay you think Modric to win the Ballon d'Or again uh probably not probably not I think they gave well oh my god are you kidding me um Luis Suarez with the first goal free kick the free kick was dubious because I barely fouled him. Did you get a new mic? My audio sounds really good. Thank you. Um, I This microphone that I got right now, I bought it around six months ago. So it's cool that you noticed it though. Thank you. It's better than the webcam I used to use. <laughs> it's way better than the webcam I used to use. So yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. The new mic getting some love. It, it was funny because when I first bought this mic, I remember I did a video of it and then someone commented on my video saying like, oh, can you please get a new mic? It's like, it's like, what one do you want me to get? And they, they, they sent me a link and it was like a, a microphone that cost like £2,000. I was like, mate, I cannot afford that. <laughs> it's like, do you really think I'm going to drop two grand on a microphone? But yeah, this one does the job just as pretty well. So Suarez's free kick separates the two sides. It took Uruguay long enough, to be fair. You had zero, zero shots. Then how did you get... How did you get... Um. Oh, in the second half, sorry. Uh, I was about to say, Yane, like, what, honestly, what happened in that game? But I don't think you'll be beating England. No way. No way. Not with that kind of performance against Ukraine. Chowdhury. He does the step over. Oh, uh, what? I was hoping that guy down the wing would help me. Crossed in. Oh, okay. Head that. Out to Islam. Islam again. There's three Islams on this team. That's a very common name then in Bangladesh. With this performance, absolutely not. Croatia is the best team in Europe right now. That's debatable. But they are... Like I've said for years, they are the best small... Like I, I don't know how to explain it. They're the best sort of like new new newcomer on the scene if you get what I mean like they've been around for only about 30 years maybe uh pushing 40 now but yeah um they're they're sensational for what they've done in that small amount of time who's gonna win the Ballon d'Or probably Messi I reckon probably Messi come on Bangladesh yeah come on we need to get them a goal. I see the Arsenal reference, by the way. Someone made an Arsenal reference to Bangladesh because their kit looks like Arsenal. So I actually just realised that. My my pea brain kind of just realised that. In terms of individuals, it's England. But for a team, it's Croatia. Exactly. Exactly. That's a very good way of putting it. I reckon England, no lie, could win the Euros. I reckon they could. I'm not basing that off the performance against Malta. I'm basing that just off the fact that England are good these days. Oh, the Netherlands, yeah, earlier on. Uh, lost against Italy, didn't they? Through VAR. Oh my God, Suarez, stop it! <laughs> this guy just keeps scoring free kicks against me. Hey VLK, how you doing? Croatia don't bottle like Belgium. Exactly. Bel Croatia still have silverware internationally to show for it. That being the third place playoff medal twice and a silver medal in um, uh, 2018 as well. So, yeah, they're, they're not really like bottlers like Belgium. Because Belgium legit had a golden generation. Like, legit had it. And it's just gone to waste. It's gone to waste, man. Like... 
how did they let that slip? Whereas, like, people didn't really consider Croatia to be a golden generation. You think 2018 was their best version by far, but they've somehow carried it on until 2022 and um, even in 2023 with the Nations League final as well. I mean, it won't last forever. They'll become mediocre again one day, but hey, I'm, in, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. Hey, Drama Slayer, you're, you're, you're Croatian? Nice. I wish you the best of luck. What was that? Why does that happen all the time? But, um, yeah, I wish you the best of luck. I really wish you the best of luck. I really want Croatia to win it because I am a fan of Croatia as in, like, I like them. You know what I mean? You know, being English, I still like Croatia. I think they're a good team. Like, generally one of the best international teams around at the moment. Not looking forward to Macedonia versus England. Mm. Although, I was saying to my friend at work today that England might drop a stinker against Macedonia. There is a potential for England to drop a stinker against them. Because, okay, we beat Malta 4-0, but it wasn't, like, the mo most of the goals weren't really that impressive. And you've got to think, Malta um, are semi-professional footballers at best. And it was only a 4 0. For England, they should be whipping Malta like, I don't know, 7 at least. Maybe they just didn't want to whip them by 7, but the best international teams will do that against smaller ones. Oh, I'm just getting absolutely skinned. Good save. Hope you can see a good match today. You want Croatia to win. Croatia had a good one in 1998. Yep, their first ever World Cup as an independent nation. Remember, like, Davos Suka, Prozaneski. Oh, my God. What players they were. Good players. You thought um, it was going to be 8-0 um, against Malta? That's what I was thinking. I'm not trying to be, like, disrespectful to Malta. But with the talent that England have, they should have pressed for more, potentially. Oh, that's a good ball. And it's a third. Is that? It's Castro. Wow, I've been ripped in this one. Absolutely ripped apart. Salah might miss Liverpool's four matches because of AFCON. That's sad. Malta got one professional. Yeah, I think the, the... I'm not, like, disrespecting Malta at all. I think they're okay for a small team. But I, I'm just saying England players should have done a little bit better last night because the goals weren't really that impressive. You know, like, England posted on social media, like, Rashford doing, like, a, a step over or whatever, and it was just like, I'm not really impressed when he does that against, um, like, a supermarket worker from Malta. I would be more impressed if he did that against Trent Alexander-Arnold to get, you know, against, like, Liverpool or whatever, but <laughs> not, like, some random dude from Malta. So, yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe I'm just um, being a bit overcritical of England. We'll see how they do against Macedonia on Monday, though. Because that, that'll be a decent test. Macedonia will be looking to bounce back against England. And, of course, England will be looking to continue their good form. 89th minute. And, um, wow. Wow. Just haven't been here for Bangladesh. I think I need to take more long shots. Long shots in this game can be overpowered if you get them on target. Please. Good save. And it's booted away. Bangladesh have been beaten here, but not by an awful like, a lot of goals. Only like 3-0, which is a standard result. Oh... Uh, these turnings that these players are making, they're like reading my every single move. Oh, okay. Well, that went in and um, that guy wanted to score at the end. What do you think about Malaysia under 17s losing to Thailand 3-0? I'm not really sure, to be honest. I'm not really sure. A talk sport pundit said that Alexander-Arnold's qualities are not far off Messi's. 
Hey Edward, thank you. Thank you very much. Happy Father's Day back to you. Happy Father's Day to anyone, especially to anyone who is a dad right now. England, pretty overrated national team. The only cup they won, 19, 1966. They are overrated, but they will do it again one day. One day they will. One day they will. But, yeah, Bangladesh got absolutely destroyed by Prime Uruguay. Um... Yeah, I couldn't really handle Suarez's two... The two free kicks were a little bit BS because I was trying to tackle Uruguay and the referee was like, wait, free kick. So, yeah. Um, the two goals at the end were legit. I just couldn't defend them. Will I want to be a dad? Yeah, I will. I want to. I want to. Because then my kid can take over this channel when I'm too old to do it. I'll show him this game. I'll be like, look what I used to play back in my day. And he'll be like, ew, what is this game? <laughs> he, would, he, would, he would have like World Cup 20, I don't know, 2050 or something. By the time I'm like, you know, got kids and stuff. Hey, Tanya, we've done the first match. I just lost 4-0 against Uruguay. Um, yeah, not great. Netherlands beat Costa Rica 2-1 as well. Puerto Rico close to... Gold Cup? Come on. That's what we want. Try to change the tactics. I don't think that's going to help for Bangladesh in this one. I hope so. Or maybe they can play for the Philippines. Maybe. Since, you know, it, it'll probably be easier to break, break through the Filipino national team rather than England. England's probably too congested with talent. Young husband is English? Yeah, I know. My partner my uh, my partner knows of young husband. She says he's quite he's quite um famous in the Philippines. Who's more likely to qualify for the next World Cup? India or China? Um China at this current stage has a better chance. Um I don't think India have done a lot to really do their um their national team did you know what I did after the match go on Yane what did you do if San Marino was located in Oceano do you think they'll get more wins I reckon so I, I reckon so if I have a daughter they'll get onto the Philippines women's national team they're good right now yeah when I, when I was out there um, they won a trophy didn't they you just destroyed Cree Crane 30-0 in the 2010 World Cup game. And you enjoyed it. I bet you did, dude. I bet you did. We need to get that passing up. So, um, yeah, let's do it. I mean, Bangladesh have already, like, suffered a horrific loss of form already. But, yeah, no, the Philippine national, women's national team's really good. Um, a lot of people said to me already that they're going to get zero points at the World Cup. Don't be surprised that, that they might pick up a few points. Even if they don't go through the groups, um, they might pick up a few points. You like Greg's, Oliver? This drill isn't going particularly brilliant. San Marino versus St. Vincent, 1-1. One, one. That's pretty good, to be fair. That is pretty good. Didn't they draw against um, St. Lucia as well? So they are a decent team. I've discussed it in the past. Because, like, I see on... Oh, why am I not hitting this goal, honestly? It's just, like, not even here. How? <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, my God. This guy cannot physically do it. Oh, my... Is there something wrong with this? Like, uh, hang on. Let me try it again. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How do I not hit that goal? This guy is... Oh, the last one, of course. The last one. Uh, <laughs> that is an absolute epic fail right there from that guy. Hey, Amareza, how you doing? Imagine the scenes when India someday score a goal in their first World Cup. That would be cool. Because India do like football, don't they? They do like their football now. What was my favourite... World Cup qualifying run I've ever done. Um, I don't know. It's hard. That's hard. I say Kazakhstan actually. Kazakhstan and Trinidad and Tobago were my favourites um, 
just because Kazakhstan on one of the matches, I beat France like 5-0 legit. Like absolutely crushed them. I couldn't believe it. It was one of the best matches I've ever played. And Trinidad and Tobago, the reason why I like them is because they got Kenwin Jones and he's an absolute beast. And that was really fun. Hey, Izaz. Your kid would play for Mexico or Lebanon? Nice. <laughs> How am I, young old man? I'm good, thank you. What what run is being made next? So I'm currently, if you're talking about video runs, I'm currently in the middle of Sri Lanka. Um, but then after that, I got to do Macedonia because Thomas yesterday donated, and he's donated a lot of money um, for video runs. So I was like, okay, I'll do Macedonia. But on this one, uh, we'll just put it to vote. We're just doing voted runs. And um, Bangladesh was the first run to do. So we got uh, Prime 2014 Costa Rica. Not a fun team to play against. Definitely one of the surprises of the World Cup. See, look at this, right? I lost against Uruguay 3-0. Look at that form. The game's already put me in a really bad situation. Yeah, Yane, um, uh, definitely, um, definitely Macedonia next because Thomas, he donated quite a lot of money, um, over the course of a couple of weeks. I think it averaged around about $20 or something, which doesn't seem like a lot, but you got to remember that's his hard earned, hard earned money. So he said, I said to him, do you want to run? And I said, okay, you know, he, he was like Macedonia. So I was like, all right, he can, um. He can have Macedonia. So, you know. Yeah, very kind. Very kind. Whoever, whoever donates, even if it's just a dollar, it's super kind. Like, because that's your... That's your hard-earned money, and you're literally giving it, giving it to some random dude on the internet who probably doesn't really deserve it. But yeah, um, you know, if it ever happen, if it if it happens, then thank you very much, very very much. Macedonia solid in football, like in the Euros. Yep, yep, they did right. They did all right in that tournament, didn't they? Really, Tanya, that's very, very kind. That would be very kind, but honestly, that's a lot of money. So you should keep it and use it for yourself. Macedonia versus Italy? Yeah, that was a good match. Yeah, Sri Lanka as well. It's all coming, don't worry. We're not in a rush to make... With the requests and stuff, I'm not in a massive rush to do it because I kind of want to stretch out the, I want to stretch out the runs until the next World Cup. I know that sounds really, um, <laughs> like you know, like I'm milking milking the cow or whatever of the World Cup games, but um, you know, there's no rush if you get what I mean. No rush. Are you watching the Nations League final today? Um, probably not watching it, but I'll have it. I'll have it on my phone, like, um, rolling up, like, you know, the live feed or whatever. Um, have you heard Peter Drury is joining Sky Sports? Yeah, that's a good signing for them. Good signing for Sky. Because, um, oh, who retired? I can't remember. Um, Martin Tyler, didn't he? He retired. Which is just music to any Liverpool fan's ears. Because every time Liverpool scored, even if it was like an absolute worldie, he'll be like, oh, what a goal by Mohamed Salah. It's like, mate, like, do you want to put some any enthusiasm into it? But if Man United scored, he literally like screams the house down for like a little tap in. It's just so, it's so biased. You can just tell. So we need someone like him, Peter Drury, to kind of mix it up a little bit. You can't really milk these games. They're meant to be played over and over. That is true. That is true. 
I'm gonna keep these these games, the memories of these games alive by doing multiple runs and qualifying runs and stuff like that on them until I until either the Xbox just dies or whatever, like forever, or um, I get tired of it. But I don't think I'll ever get tired of it really because it's so much fun. You support Costa Rica, Brazil, Argentina. Whoa, that's a lot of international teams, dude. There's me thinking that supporting England and following Croatia was bad. I remember I got a lot. I used to get a lot of stick for that um, when I was in college. Loads of people, loads of people um, said to me, "Oh, why do you follow Croatia? Like, why? Why? That's so pointless." It's like, mate, like the Croatia are a good team. That's why I like them. And they're like, no, you should just stick to England and nothing else. It's like, can I not appreciate other international teams? <laughs> it's like, is that not allowed? Crossed in. Oh. If I'm being honest, even though 2014 Costa Rica was good, I think this is my best chance for a victory. It could be. <laughs> if anything, I'm giving a uh, spotlight to more obscure national teams. That is true as well. I always get people on my older videos say like, "I'll oh, thank you for doing a run with like Somalia or whatever. Because they never, you never see that, do you really? Whenever YouTubers play this game, they always pick the bigger teams like England, Argentina, Brazil. They'll play it once, probably won't even finish the run and then go, right, done with that. And somehow they'll get more views than me. <laughs> On your run in 2010, uh, Bangladesh, Robin and Hussain are good. I reckon in, it's definitely easier to play with 2010 Bangladesh than it is 2014. Like I said in the past, 2014 gives me a lot of problems. It's just a hard game. Oh my god, no! <gasps> oh, he missed a sitter! How did you miss that? That is crazy. The finals on Channel 4? Ooh, I might be able to get that up on my phone. Possibly. But I won't be able to show it on stream because otherwise it'll get taken down for copyright. Ma Martin Tyler, great commentator. He is good on the FIFA games, but like what I mean is like recently in seasons, because because he's a Man U fan, his bias comes out quite a lot when he's... um. Uh, you know, commentating over Liverpool games. Like, he just doesn't have that enth same enthusiasm as to when, like, another team scores. And it's okay to have your your favourites and stuff like that, but in a professional environment, when you're a commentator, you kind of just got to, like, be not biased. But I think that's more, as well, due to his age as well. He's quite old, isn't he? So maybe I'm... Um, being a bit too harsh on him. He is a legendary commentator though, no doubt about that. But um yeah. It's time for him to move on. Costa Rica cross it in and that's offside. Chile lost the pole and finished second twice. Yeah. I did put him in there, but Lukaku miss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is ironic, considering his famous Man City call. Yeah, that's str that's the strange thing about it, though. But, like, I always see on on TikTok um, that, you know, there'll be, like, comparisons. It'll be, like, I don't know, Rashford would score a tap-in, and he would, like, go crazy over it. But then, I don't know, Benteke would score an overhead, like he did against United that one time. And all he, all he did was just go, wow. And that was it. It's just like, okay... Well, he literally just scored an overhead kick. So, you want to put some more enthusiasm into that? But I think the Aguero moment was just literally, like, history. It was, like, history in the making. So, I guess he had to do it. Um, you know, I would do it if it was against Liverpool. I'd be like, oh, my God, sort of thing. But then the part of me would be like, oh, crap. We just lost the league. <laughs> I wonder where City would be if they had no oil money. Probably in the same league as like Rochdale and people like that. 
Nil nil at half time. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Greatest commentator was John Motson. Yeah, dude. Um, he was really good on FIFA 03, 04 and stuff like that. And um, didn't they bring back John Motson and um, didn't they bring him back for like one of the tournaments? I can't remember if it was 2022 World Cup or Euro 2020, but they brought him. They brought him back. So yeah. Um, for like a couple of games. And Ali McCoy as well. Ali McCoy is a good commentator. They brought him back for the 2022 World Cup. It was good to hear his voice again in um, those matches. Go on. Oh, maybe I should have kept running. I don't know. I probably would have got tackled. Probably non-league. Yeah. Remember, Man City without oil money got destroyed by Middlesbrough like 8-1. Oh, Bangladesh just can't seem to hold on to the ball. If we can get a draw, though, against Prime 2014 Costa Rica, I'll be quite happy with that. Because they don't seem to be playing that well. Whereas Uruguay literally smashed me into the ground. Back to the keeper. Plays it. That's not a good pass. Come on. Go on. Oh, saved by Navas. He did die though. Yeah, that is sad. That is very sad. What's the most iconic Premier League moment? Um, I would probably say the Aguero moment, to be fair. There's a player in FIFA 10 called Tobo Toborg. There's also a player on um, uh, FIFA 10 World Cup called Loco. He plays for Angola. Go on. Oh, it's come out to Bangladesh. Hit it. Oh, my God, man. He could not hit that from there. I mean, it was great defending from Costa Rica. But look at this. Should have scored from that. Why would I cheat on a human when... As your wife instead of marrying a bird. <laughs> yeah, it was probably a grow moment for, um, uh, you know, um, the greatest Premier League moment ever. I mean, that moment just would never be topped, I don't think. It was just once in a lifetime sort of moment. I'd say that for like its own individual moment. But if you're talking about, like, um, I don't know, season, like a whole season, Leicester's season has to be up there as one of the greatest Premier League seasons of all time. Just for the fact that it shocked everybody and stuff. Same with Blackburn as well in 94. Um, that was a pretty good underdog story. Um, a bit of bias here, but Liverpool season in nine, uh, 2020, sorry, um, finishing with tons of points above City. I think it was like 22 points, I think, we finished above them. Uh, Man City Centurions, Arsenal Invincibles. There's been so many good moments. Um, so, yeah. Less than an hour until kickoff. Come on, drummer. We need Croatia to to turn up. We, we, we need them to turn up. If Croatia wins that trophy, then that'll be goaded. That would be absolutely goaded. I think that would probably be like... Well... I mean... it. it well, it would be their first international trophy, wouldn't it? So, it still counts. I know it's only the Nations League, but it still counts. Hey, Spirit Golf. Uh, Spirit Wolf, sorry. Not Golf. <laughs> What's up? Are you watching the CONCACAF Nations League final? I'm not watching it, but I'll definitely follow it on my phone in a minute once I get it set up. Well, not in a minute, sorry, but whenever I, whenever it's on. It's probably late at night, right? Like, quite late. I don't know why that guy pulled up as well. He's injured. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If Croatia did win it, that would be chaos, wouldn't it? If... Because, <laughs> like, Croatia came second in the 2018 World Cup 
And their parade was just insane. It was actually insane. Oh, I couldn't get that. That's so annoying. Hopefully Hull City get promoted. I'd like to see Hull City back in the Prem. That would be awesome. Just don't sleep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I probably won't sleep if Croatia win a trophy tonight. I'll be, I'll be buzzing for them. I'll be very much buzzing. Like, even though I don't, like, I'm not from Croatia or anything like that, I'll be buzzing for them. Because that's, that's awesome if Croatia do pick up an international trophy. This Bangladesh team is tired. It can't really do anything, but they are on for a draw against Costa Rica, which is great stuff. Just keep running into them. I think Costa Rica just haven't really played. You, they missed a sitter at the start of the match, but um, other than that, they haven't really had too much. Look at these injuries on the field as well. I'm getting screwed over by the injuries. Ooh, that nearly went in as well. Want Coventry in the Prem again? Yeah, keep the injured players on, but if they can't continue, they're seriously hurt. But it's the 90th minute, so I don't think we're getting out of this group because I think our next opponent is the Netherlands. So that is basically like dead city. But we got a draw against Costa Rica. That's not bad for Bangladesh. And there was a few decent shots in there as well. Hey, Pedro from Honduras. Greetings back to you from the UK. I show speed met Ronaldo. Yeah, I saw that. That was um, a pretty good moment, wasn't it? I don't really watch speed, but it was a really good moment. Just seeing him meet his idol. Can we do Chile? Maybe. I'll put it in the poll. I'll put it in the poll. But we've got one more game to play and it's the Netherlands. So it's a bit of a nothing game. Unless... Oh, actually, oh, I don't know if it'll be a nothing game. The other games haven't played yet. Hey, Papaya. Got to train pace to defend Robin. <laughs> oh, no. That's like me trying to, um, <laughs> to defend Robin. I'm predicting that you should do NBA 2K FIFA and NBA in July. I would, I would love to do NBA on stream. I would. I tried to buy NBA 2K11, which I do have it here, but sadly the disc doesn't work. So I complained to the seller and I said, I said, um, you know, your game doesn't work. And they said, I'll just keep the game and I'll refund you. It was only, it was only like four pound anyway, but I was, I really wanted to play NBA 2K11 on stream because that, because that is the best NBA game. It is. And the career mode on it is really fun. Can you do a live run for Mexico? I'll put that in there as well. I'll put, I'll put it in the poll. Papaya, I'm so proud of my country, Puerto Rico, beating Suriname on penalties. We were talking about that earlier, dude. We were, like, congratulating um, Puerto Rico. All of us in the chat were, like, basically, like, clapping. But, um, yeah, you weren't there to see it, but, yeah. So, pace. We need pace to defend against Robin. Hopefully that draw against Costa Rica set us up for... Um, a little bit of a, a resurgence game, maybe. If I play with Macedonia, I tell you which guys to put in the starting lineup. I might be able to, but considering that I got to do a, a run with Macedonia on video sometime this week because of the the request, um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to do them tonight. Maybe I will. Maybe. It depends on the polls and stuff. Can you do a, a run with a freestyle team? I might be able to. See how the poll goes. Uh, no, I don't remember that, Oliver. I don't. I don't know which one you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, if I do go missing, then yeah, that's basically um, the reason. 
you're doing a career mode with Swindon Town on FIFA career mode. I was going to do it on Thursday, but I might do it tomorrow afternoon. Nice. I was thinking with my FIFA career mode of moving away from Mallorca and going to either the Bundesliga or the Premier League and trying to see how Perlo gets on in that. But we'll do it live on stream in the future. I was going to do it today, but I was like, let's do international football since international football is already um, on. So we got the Netherlands. Our form is kind of back up now. A few defenders are back up. Robin's back in form as well. Chile beat Dominican Republic 5-0. Good result. Hey Bowser, how you doing? It's very grey outside. It looks like it's going to rain. A lot of um, weather outlets said that it was going to thunderstorm later. So I, I hope... I kind of hope that's the case because it will clear the air, like the humid air. But at the same time, it, I don't want it to be thunderstorming while I'm streaming. It would be a bit, be a bit unsettling. Let's see if we can get a shock win against the Netherlands. Probably not, considering that Uruguay beat us, what, 4-0 or something at the start of the stream. Here we go. Against the Netherlands, the biggest match in Bangladesh's history, I presume. At least the Bangladesh fans are out in the background here towards me. Got a lot of Dutch fans as well. I saw a really funny meme as well um, <laughs> for um, the the Netherlands. It was when they lost against Croatia. Someone put on Twitter. They said the Netherlands when um, they play any any like top team or whatever, or the Netherlands under Komen. And instead of the Netherlands flag, it had the Luxembourg flag. I thought that was really clever. Very clever meme. Imagine Bangladesh get an upset result. I hope so. You're waiting for the Guineas run? I will do it in the future. It's definitely going to take a long time because if I'm, doing it, if I'm doing it on 2010, there's four Guineas. There's four. But if I'm doing it on 2014, there's five. So I'm thinking about doing it on 2014 because obviously that's the maximum amount maximum amount of guineas that you can play with but it probably won't be as successful as um the 2010 one as far as taking free kicks you know you're screwed exactly he was good i mean i mean it does if it was any other goalkeeper it definitely wouldn't have gone in if it was like i don't know italian goalkeeper a bit of calamity there from bangladesh but we got it back if we beat the netherlands there is a small chance of going through. Uruguay are beating Costa Rica. That was a good pass, by the way. Oh. I just know the Netherlands are going to try hard in this game. They will. If I know the Netherlands, they will. At least Suarez didn't eat me. That's true. At least I still got a bit of... Oh my god. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They just turned, shot, bang. Game over, pretty much. <laughs> Do you think Wrexham will wi win League 2? I think they have a really good chance of winning League 2. Really good chance. Look at this fan by Van Persie. Really, really good goal. There was just no stopping that, really. Go on. Oh, always get tangled in players on this game. Always. Crossed in, headed away, headed down. Oh, Bangladesh, please. Oh, okay. That was close. Oh, my God, really? 
He took it from behind like that. Another long shot. Remember the forward advert when he did football skills? Um, not particularly. I, I don't really remember adverts, to be honest with you. Here comes Islam on the wing. Crossed in. It wasn't a bad one. Still reached someone. Oh, come on. No, what? Okay, that was weird. It went all the way out to the centre circle. I didn't even want that. 2014 acting up. Really acting up. Prediction 3 0 to the Netherlands. Probably, I reckon 4 0 or 5 0. Oh my god, really? Blind did that. Okay, it goes straight out to Jan Matt. Crosses it in. And he's collected it. Oh, come on, man. Seriously. I'm awaiting another long shot. I just... No. Okay, well, that's offside. Good. 2014, unlucky for Croatia. Yeah, it wasn't their best, was it? That one. That's okay, Yane. No problem if you're here or um, if you're not. It's okay. I know that the Nations League is on later, so I understand if you want to watch that or any other European qualifiers that are happening. Oh, that could have gone all the way through. They go for it. Oh, my God. The Netherlands just trying shots from miles away, just toying with me. I remember Macedonia lost uh, first Andorra 1 0. Really? I didn't know that. That must have been ages ago. Uruguay 2 0 up against Costa Rica. Go on. Oh, that was such a terrible shot. It's crossing OP in the game. Um, I would say it's actually not very good on 2014. Unless you've got a really good um, header, like person that can header it. Someone like Crouch, Mandzukic, someone like that. But obviously Bangladesh don't possess those qualities. I don't think they possess any kind of quality in terms of football, sadly. Oh, he just tackled someone there from the Netherlands. I think that's going to be half time. <laughs> Everybody says that Abdulovic is from uh, like Eastern Europe or whatever. It's so, uh, every stream they say it, and then he has to like say, "I'm from Egypt." It's quite amusing. It is quite amusing. 2014 World Cup was the best game ever for you. It is a good, it's a very good solid game. I'd say it's definitely the most realistic out of the lot. Like this game doesn't mess around. It will, <laughs> on the harder difficulties, it will punish you. I'm surprised I'm only 1-0 down in this game. Costin. Okay, Bangladesh, you didn't have to do that. Austin again. Oh. Uh, so what am I doing? I'm doing a group stage campaign with uh, Bangladesh as voted for by the people in chat. But at the moment, well, we're about to get eliminated. Please get that. Martin's Indy. Close to me. Crossed in. Oh, please. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that through ball. Just a little bit too much on it. If we only lose 1-0, then that's good. 
that will set the tone for the rest of the evening with some of the bigger teams that we play with, I hope. It depends what group we get and stuff. Crossed in. Uh, header. How are you letting that in? Honestly, who lets those kind of headers in? Did I ever watch Galaxy 11? Uh, no, I, I didn't. I don't recall it anyway. Who was the best youngster that never reached their full potential? Oscar. Yeah, yeah. I reckon he went to the Chinese League way too early. Way too early. Another youngster that didn't hit their full potential. Um, Yanazai. Yanazai was one that didn't hit his potential. Everybody was so hyped about Yanazai. I remember it so well. And um, yeah, he just fell off massively. I remember like everybody was saying, he's going to play for England one day and win us the World Cup. It's like, what are you guys on about? <laughs> and he ended up playing for Belgium in, in the end and not doing an awful lot. No. Oh, my God. Another one. Hauntala. 3-0. So your prediction is uh, right. The slowest head on earth. <laughs> they deserve to go out. Yeah. Yanazai was in the 2018 Belgian squad, though. I never rated Yanazai personally, though. I never um, rated him. It's a football advert where Messi... Oh, I might have seen that. I might have seen that. Yeah, the AI on, the AI in this game is um, way harder on the harder difficulties than 2010. 2010 is, like, tame compared to this game. Although 2010 will pull some crazy stuff from time to time. 2014 is way more consistent with its defending and um, shooting and stuff. Because I can't get past the Netherlands here. I mean, I, I am tackling them. I, I am tackling them. But that would have been a good ball, by the way. If Martin Zindi once stood right there. <laughs> Alexander Pato. Good shout. Halahovic from Croatia. Yeah, I know him. Yeah. Definitely another... Hyped up youngster. Never really hit his full potential. Can't remember anybody, anybody else. <laughs> That's cool, Sir Fluffy. It's okay. The Netherlands can have this W because they've taken multiple L's over the two days against Italy and Croatia. So they can have this one against Bangladesh. It's about to come to an end here. Bangladesh haven't really done an awful lot on this run. To be expected, to be honest, and uh, realistic as well. Guess what country you're from? Uh, I remember you saying you were Portuguese, but you live in Northern Ireland. Am I right in saying that? I kind of remember you saying something about that at a time. I don't know if that was you or someone else. Poked. Oh. Netherlands are just like... They won't even give up anything. They don't want to give up another goal. Please, let me have a goal. I'm going to have to shoot from distance if I get the ball back. Just to see. Just to see, man. Oh. Yep, got it back into the middle. Why did you not go towards that? You're making a fall out of me, Bangladesh. Correct. There we go. Bangladesh. Um, yeah. Well, we got smashed in that run, really. The only highlight was drawing against Costa Rica. Some good goals, though, from um, the Netherlands and stuff. Holland, the nation's lead to forget. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Don't think any player from Bangladesh has over 70 strength. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know Stickman's in English. But you love Sri Lanka. So who wins this World Cup then? Let's have a look. It'll probably 
uh, probably be the usual suspect yet Germany. As always, they always win these kind of things. And Spain, they're the most overpowered teams in the game. Um, so Huntelaar got top goal scorer, Van Mata and Neuer in that run. Anybody come close? Any like sort of surprises? Uh, Croatia top group A. Georgia went through in Group B, but, but then again, Group B is pretty easy, apart from England. Um, Brazil came last in Group H. That's stinky from Brazil. Um, Armenia nearly made it into the next one. And um, any decent results here? Mm, oh, Nigeria made the third place playoff where they played Argentina, which is obviously, um, you know... The biggest rivalry of ever football. Of football ever. 30,000 Croatians are in Rotterdam at the moment. Nice. Bringing the squad all the way to the Netherlands. I hope they win. They deserve it. They deserve it. So, um, yeah. The next run, um, I'll put a poll up with the most suggested runs that I've seen. Um... Although I can only fit four teams on the poll, if you get what I mean. Um, so, uh, what was it? Chile, Serbia, uh, Scotland, Scotland, and I think Mexico was another one, didn't want it. Yeah, Mexico. But those were the four popular ones, because we've done most teams. But yeah. Argentina versus Nigeria has happened in like a billion World Cups. Yeah, it actually has. Yeah, it actually has. If Croatia win, you've got to brag to your old high score mates. I will. I will text them immediately after the game saying, I told you back in 2002 that this would have happened. I told you guys. <laughs> they all called me, like literally I said it back in like um, school and everybody said I was an idiot. But like, don't you just think that it's just like either luck, probably just luck, or just impeccable ball knowledge? It was probably impeccable ball knowledge. <laughs> nah, it's just luck. I picked a team, you know, because I remember one of my friends saying that Togo was going to be a, a dominant force in world football, and I just laughed. I just thought, like, that's just so funny. Um, I could put Macedonia in the poll afterwards. We'll wait a couple of minutes for people to vote. Puerto Rico plays a friendly match against Curacao a couple of days before the Suriname match. Scores 0-0. Done well then. You're kind of like going on a mini run right now. Never underestimate Croatians. Exactly. Never underestimate Croatia. You watched Stavazuka's years ago and saw potential. I don't know what it was about Croatia, what made me like them. Because I didn't know, back back when I was at school, I didn't know that Croatia reached a, um, a semi-final in 1998. I didn't know that until I researched it. I think it was just the colours of their kit and stuff like that that I liked. Um, I also liked players like Kranjar, because at the time he was playing for Portsmouth. Um... You know, players like that. So I kind of got in, roped into that. What is the poll looking like so far? It's very close. We're looking like Chile is going to win it. I'll wait just a, f a minute. I'll wait one more minute. But it's very... That's probably the closest poll we've ever done. Probably. I bet you someone ties the poll up at the end. And <laughs> What's my favourite food seasoning? Probably like barbecue stuff. Like barbecue stuff. Like, seasoning for, like, barbecue... Well, for chicken. Like, barbecue flavour is so nice. So far, though, we're only about an hour and 20 minutes into the stream. And it's actually been very successful. Um, you know, a lot of interactivity. A lot of likes. A lot of views as well for the first hour. I'm very, very happy about that. Um, so, thank you so much. It looks like it's Chile and Mexico. Um, 
it looks like it's going to be, unless someone can separate them, I might, um, might do a double run. Might have to do a double Chile and Mexico run. Bravo to go? Exactly. I love Claudio Bravo. I love Claudio Bravo as a keeper. Mainly because on FIFA 19, I used him as a goalkeeper in um, uh, Ultimate Team. And I got a thousand appearances with him. Imagine that, a thousand Ultimate Team games. I literally had no life in 2019. <laughs> Penalty shootout, Mexico and Chile. Should we do that as a decider? Like, the AI does it? Should we do that? We could do that. I mean, I don't know if I can do a penalty shootout, right? I don't think I can. I don't think I actually can. Oh, it's Chile. Chile has won. Yeah. Chile, Chile has won. Yeah, I'm ending the poll. Chile won. Sorry, guys, for the other one, but Chile won. Yeah. Someone, someone split the vote and it was Chile. Sorry guys, but it is Chile. So Tanya gets his wish and Chile is the next one. T Chile in 2014 weren't actually that bad. They actually weren't that bad at all. So I'm going to replace Algeria. And I want to put, I want to put Uganda in there. Why not? Um... Who else shall we replace? Uh, I want to kind of get rid of Belgium as well. Like, I don't really want to play them right now. Um, let's put Macedonia in there for Yane, if he's still here. Let's put him in. Why not? Um, uh, we played Costa Rica, so we'll kick him out. Let's put in Puerto Rico for Papaya. Let's see how far Puerto Rico will go in this one. Um, Croatia will keep in there because of the Nations League. Um... Uh, who else do I kick out? You want North Korea in there? Uh, I'll kick out France. I want to kick out France. I'm going to kick out France. I'm sure nobody will complain about me kicking out France. And let's put in North Korea. Let's do it. North Korea on this game are definitely... Um, well, they're definitely worse off than they were in 2010. You want Haiti? Haiti can go in there for Honduras quite easily. There we go. Boom. India for Iran. Should we do that? India for Iran? Yeah, why not? Not too many small teams because otherwise it'll be too easy. Um, Austria for um, Bosnia. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll do that. Sri Lanka again. You want Sri Lanka in there? Um, we'll replace the Netherlands because we already played them. We'll replace them with Sri Lanka. That's the last big team I'm going to kick out. Um, Ethiopia for Liquid? Yeah. Let's get Nigeria out and Ethiopia in. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ethiopia. Where are they? There they are. Greece for Turkey? That could be a good replacement. That's actually a... A really good like for like replacement. Wales, Scotland. We had a. Th I don't know. Uh, if you want Scotland, I'll replace Russia with Scotland, Sean. Since you know that's a like for like replacement because you like both. Um, I'll do one more, one more um thing. Uh, Peru to replace Ecuador. I like that. I like that. That'll be my last change. Um, Peru to replace Ecuador. I don't want it to be too easy because otherwise I'll just walk the World Cup and it won't be fun, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, I'll leave it like that and then we'll do it again. Um, right, I'm going to shuffle it. So... In three, let's just hope that we get a decent group. In three, two, one, boom. Where are we? Croatia, Argentina, and Austria. Okay, game. Okay. <laughs> Look at Ethiopia. They got screwed in that one. Um, I think that's quite fair. Oh, Puerto Rico. Unlucky. Look at that. <laughs> that is so, that's so stinky for them. 
Um, I'm tend I want to do it one more time. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it one more time, one more time because that's a little bit on the stinky side in terms of for everyone else. So I'll do it one more time, but that's it. One more time. So in three, two, one, boom. And we stayed in the same group, but instead we got Austria, Germany, and Australia. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, Puerto Rico got screwed again by the group stage randomness. Group B is looking a little bit better. Um, group A, kind of the same. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it like that. Ethiopia got screwed again as well. Unlucky Liquid, if he's here. Hey, hey RD Tube, how you doing? Yeah, I had to do it again because those groups were kind of stinky. I didn't really like them. But then I got screwed over with the same thing. So so we got Chile versus um, Austria. Um, so this is a squad for Chile. Obviously, Vidal is their best player. We've got Claudio Bravo in goal. Um, we've got Alexis Sanchez, only rated 82. Okay, 88 pace though. That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> remember Vargas, Eduardo Vargas? On um, on FIFA 15, he was really, really good. Really, really good. Uh, no problem, Papaya. See you later, dude. Have a good day at work. I hope you have a good day. It's okay, Yane. It's all right. So I think this is the squad that I'm going to use because I don't really know too many Chilean players. Hubert Suazo is the only other person that I know. On this team so um, yeah we'll just do that and we'll go straight into the match against Austria and see how we do 2014 Chile I can't wait to use them against 2014 Austria surely Austria in 2014 weren't that great right 12 a.m. Wow that's commitment dude Bangladesh didn't get the shuffle exactly. You got to get that the right shuffle, otherwise the game will just um, completely screw you over. Only a few minutes until the final. Serbia is gonna haunt me. <laughs> oh. It's not as hot as it was the other day, but it's still kind of stuffy, if you get what I mean. It's really, it's really stuffy still. Prediction, Chile, the two, Austria nil, hopefully. Aaron Gies played for Leverkusen. He was good, if I remember rightly. This Chile squad got cut, uh, this Chile squad got kind of unlucky in 2014. Um, you know, uh, they got eliminated by penalties at the hands of Brazil. So really unlucky. See you later, Stickman. Sorry, man. Sorry that you didn't get to see Sri Lanka, but you will see him in video form in the future because I've already done that. Um, looking at the Austrian team, Futch from Leicester, Dalavalva in midfield, not that great. Yeah, there's only like pockets of good players. It was really hot in Germany today. Yeah. UK, not that hot. We're expecting a thunderstorm later. But when that will happen, I don't know. Um, maybe, hopefully, after Croatia win the Nations League. <laughs> okay, here we go then. Austria versus Chile. I'm surprised that Austria have fully licensed kits. That's a very, um, that's a very good little detail from the game. I remember that Zambia have their uh, actual licensed kits as well in this game. So... Yeah. I hope that Austria don't thrash me. It goes Diaz. Just need to get set the tone in this match. Set the tone with Chile. Okay. Good tackle by Vidal. He's going to be our main man in midfield. Ah, oh, really? When a player looks like he's about to make a run and then just stops in his tracks, it's like the most irritating thing about FIFA ever. Like 
header by Austria. Go on, through ball. Vargas. We know he has pace. Down to you. Go on. Oh, blocked. Good block. Junzovic, underrated player. We'll have to see what happens in this match. See if he can do anything. Oh, what was that? Feynman over the top. Chili boot it away. Good pass in the end. How do Austria keep cutting that out? That through ball. Feynman versus Mena. Or Mina even. Good clearance. Why up to him? This game's not listening to me. My commands. Go on. I'm going to need you, Alexis Sanchez. I'm going to need you. He has scored and that's 1-0. Finally, man. Okay, well, I mean, that was our first attack anyway. But Alexis Sanchez has scored. Yeah, I can't wait as well. Oh, Tanya, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. The final is starting soon. Who do you think to wi will win today? I'm heavily rooting for Croatia. Um, my heart says Croatia, but my brain just somehow thinks Spain. I'm just hoping my brain is wrong. You know what I mean? Because Spain are a good team. They are a good team. They're not quite as good as they used to be, but they are still good. I just hope Croatia can do it. As long as Croatia keep that same mentality they've had against the Netherlands and even in uh, World Cup 2022, um, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Mena on the ball. Oh, blocked. And it's got it. Everybody wants Croatia to win. Yeah. Everybody except Spanish people. <laughs> and Serbians, probably. Serbians probably don't want Croatia to win. Otherwise, that'll be infinite bragging rights forever. In terms of, like, you know, Serbia and Croatia and everything. But I guess, I don't know. I mean, they are rivals, but you got to kind of, like, give it to them where credit's due. You know, Croatia have just come out, just um, amazed everybody, year after year after year. Croatia wins on penalties. I That would be cool. That would be cool. But it would be very nerve-wracking. I'd rather them win in normal time. Blocked by Austria. Austria are defending quite well, but Chile do have that intensity about them. I can see it. Get them in some decent form. I think we might be able to make a deep run out of this. Austria, though, really defending quite well. Good tackle by Gary Medell. Remember him? Oh, look at this. Alexis Sanchez. Could it be two? Oh, that was a pass. But it nearly went in. But the guy couldn't reach it. And it's half time. It's 1-0 to Chile. Um, yeah. I like the background, by the way, with the Austrian fans. Look at that. Like, all the flags and everything. That's really good presentation by 2014. Morocco showed that you can win against Spain with good defence and Croatia is extremely defensive. I just hope that it doesn't bite them. Like, defensive football can bite you if you get it wrong. And in a final situation, of course you're going to be nervous. You're going to be, even if it is just the Nations League, you're going to be nervous and stuff. Um, if Modric wins the Nations League, he'll be the best midfielder in football history. I reckon he'll be up there. Probably not the, not the best because... You know, oh, that was perfect. What a ball. Please. Oh. Oh, come on. We had a ton of shots, but no more goals. But yeah, he'll be up there. But I don't think the Nations League really... I mean, for a nation like Croatia, yes, it's huge. But um, I don't know. If, if 
let's say if like Iniesta won the Nations League for like Spain, I don't think many people would actually like care, if you get what I mean. But because it's Modric and Croatia, it's kind of like inflated a little bit because Croatia are a smaller nation in terms of like population and stuff like that. But I'm really praying that Croatia win it. I want them to win it. And I think they deserve an international trophy. Modric is not better than Iniesta and Xavi. Exactly. That's what I was just saying. But he is up there. I would say he is up there. Not better than them, but he is up there. Like, he, he is a modern day legend. The amount of trophies he's won and everything. Um, obviously, international honours with Croatia. Phenom phenomenal footballer. You think Modric has actually achieved more than midfielders like, um, I don't know. You could probably argue he's achieved more than Lampard and Gerrard, really. Definitely internationally. Club level as well, I guess. I mean, Lampard and Gerrard never played for Real Madrid, but that's a header. Oh, bravo. Did have that, but Chile just get rid of it. Watch the ra match right now. I'll try and get it on my phone. Or I can put it on the radio. Technically, that won't count as copyright, right? If I played it down through the radio? Right? Would that still count? I'm not sure. Maybe it might count as copyright. Oh, I tried to do the finesse. Still quite a hard battle here against Austria. Definitely not the match that I was expecting it to be. Chile have kind of uh, struggled in front of goal, despite the amount of shots. And Altovic crossed in. That was a really poor ball. Somehow still remains with Austria. All they have to do is literally walk past your defence. That's like my kryptonite in this game. They'll just walk past my defence and that'll be it. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. That went through everybody. Alexis Sanchez, go on. Oh, too much. I'm your love. <laughs> Tony Kroos won the UCL five times, the World Cup and countless other trophies. Exactly. So, Modric, although he is up there, he's not quite the best midfielder of all time. What's the app? I'm not sure, dude. I don't know what channel it'll be on. Will it be on... Channel 4 or something like that, maybe? Someone said it was on Channel 4. I don't quite believe that because it's a match between Croatia and someone else. Do you know what I mean? Like, it wouldn't be televised in England. I don't think it would be. Thoughts on Snoop Dogg? I like his music. I like his music. I like Snoop Dogg's music. Legend in the music industry. I hope he hasn't done anything like newsworthy recently. If you're saying, if you're thinking about, I don't know, if I've missed anything like controversial or whatever. <laughs> At least I don't think he has. But yeah, I, I like him. Just imagine, like, because Snoop Dogg does gaming, you could do, like, Tobaloco versus Snoop Dogg on the World Cup game. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's just a far-fetched idea. If ever. Austria still pressing. Anatovic. I wish Anatovic would stop trying to skin me here on the wing. He's crossed it in. Uh-oh. No. Oh, thank God for that. He's doing a lot of random crossovers. Nice. Nice. I like that when um, Snoop Dogg does that. Or any, like, celebrities, really. Like, I always see Shaquille O'Neal, the ex-basketball uh, player, do really, really random crossovers and stuff. I like Snoop Dogg's music. It's actually really good. I like rap like that. Like, early 90s sort of, like, rap and stuff. I think it's goaded. Much better than the stuff that we have today. 
Did you see Kyle Walker likely joining Bayern Munich? That's a good signing for them. I don't think Modric is even top five. Probably not in terms of like, um, uh, like honors and stuff like that, maybe, or like stats. But he is a good midfielder in terms of like our generation, like this generation sort of thing from 2010 to 2023 or whatever, or however long he plays. He is in this sort of time frame one of the best. One of the best. Not the best, one of the best. Thank you, Patrick, for the dollar. Thank you so much. W, Patrick. Huge W, Patrick. And huge W for Chile as well. Where, where would Lofa Mateus rank? I never really... Um, I never really see saw him play. <laughs> Ratrick, really? Yeah, the W's in Patrick's name. Thank you so much, Patrick. That's very generous. You've been very generous recently. I imagine that you would probably want to see a USA run for 4th of July. I imagine. I imagine you would. I'll add it to my list. Or maybe Malaysia. You probably want Malaysia, right? More than anything. But I'll add it to the list if you really want it. Since you've donated a few times. Very kind of you, dude. Training session. Um, I don't really want to do passing. I want to do pace. Because pace... For someone like, I don't know, some of these players, it's really good. A USA run? I was thinking about doing it on the 4th of July. Because that would make sense, right? I'm literally giving myself loads of extra work. <laughs> it's just crazy. I'm like, yeah, I'll do this run. And I'll do this run as well. And I'll do this run. Forgetting that, literally, um, I have a full-time job and everything. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. Modric isn't even top five. Yeah, I probably agree with that. But, but in terms of, like, outside... Like, say, for example... The, the sort of like biggest dark horse midfielder in terms of for his nation, you have to say Modric is like really, really good for Croatia. Is my phone Android? No, I have um, I have iPhone, so I won't be able to do any illegal apps or whatever. <laughs> no problem, Sean. I hope you have a good time, whatever you're doing. I assume you're probably going to have dinner. 8th of September is Macedonia's Independence Day. I missed um I missed the Philippines um Independence Day. N not like missed it, but I I missed it in terms of like doing a video for it. But it kind of snuck up on me. I was like, "Oh, like like crap. Like I missed it." But yeah. Australia versus Chile next. Remember Australia actually played Chile in uh this group in real life remember didn't tim cahill score a worldie against either the the netherlands or chile i can't remember which one but he did do it didn't he <laughs> score a banger with young husband and call it a day yeah Well, I can do the Philippines women's international team very soon. Very soon. Because that mode comes out at the end of June, I think. No, no, no. Versus Holland. 2-1. Oh, okay. That was a really good goal. Match begins versus Spain and Croatia. I'll get it up on my phone, but I probably won't be able to... It'll probably be like text, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I literally just farted then. <laughs> My stomach's like I don't know. I ate a lot. Of, I ate a ton of chicken earlier. A ton of chicken. I'm sure you guys can keep me updated on the Croatia match as well. But I've got it on my phone here. But it's just text. It's just text rolling up a screen. They lost three two. Oh yeah, I remember that though. Like Cahill did score an absolute worldie.
not a lot of people actually remember that goal as well. Like, I always forget about it when you talk about Australia's greatest World Cup moments and stuff. That has to be up there alongside with 2022. Don't drink, drink water. He's in my glass right now. He's in my glass. He's Danny drink water. How any company hasn't done a deal with him, any water company, like to say to say like, hey, drink water sort of thing. It's just beyond me. How that's such a good and easy marketing thing to do. What happened to drink water? Um, he went to Chelsea, uh, got injured. Um, I don't know where he is now. I don't know where he is now. Australia, can you stop? Okay, bravo. Australia aren't going to be easy in this one. They're going to be really decent. <laughs> oh, that's his second name. That's his second name, Abdulovic. I don't think he has. I don't think he has um, a choice in his second name. Well, and his first, I guess, as well. But at least you can. At least you can legally change your name if you want to. So he could do that if he wants. It doesn't cost that much money either. Please drink wine. I don't even like wine, dude. I'm not even a fan of wine. <laughs> Do, you, do I think Gavi is uh, overrated? I haven't really seen much of him play to kind of make that kind of judgment. So what do you guys think? Do you think Gavi is overrated or do you think he's underrated? He better not turn up tonight against Croatia. I'm telling you that. Because I don't really watch Barcelona games. And I don't really watch Spain games either. Apart from following it tonight. So it's a bit like... It's a bit like I don't really know. You remember when he clashed with another player at Aston Villa? That must have been ages ago. Crossed in by Chile. Header! Oh, that should have gone in. Alexis. Was that? No, it wasn't Sanchez. Sorry. I think that was Gary Medell that put that one wide. Whew. Vargas on the ball. Oh, look, did you see that? That was quality. That deserves a goal. That deserves... Oh, come on, Australia. You ruined my fun. You ruined my fun there. That was such a good skill move. That was like the first time I've ever done a skill move properly. Kenny. Doesn't get to anyone. Oh, what? Come on. <laughs> Gavi won the Golden Boy Award over Bellingham and uh, Musiala. Another crime by FIFA. See, I don't really see enough of Gavi to sort of make a judgment, but Bellingham, like, yeah, he is good. He's certified good. He is certified good. I'm not mad that Liverpool didn't get him because 100 million is a lot of money. But it's just that it would have been good to have a player like him on our squad. But Real Madrid, you know, you could see that coming from a mile away, couldn't you? You can literally see that coming from a mile away. Crossed in by Australia. Bravo, you got that. Thank you. Do I like the Zelda games? Um, I do like some of them. Um, I haven't really played enough of Zelda to really um, sort of like them that much. I've only played a couple of them. 
But I never grew up with a Nintendo. I I grew up on PlayStation. So, yeah, most of the time when I do play Zelda, it's around, like, friends' house and stuff like that. So I never really got the chance to play them. But I do like them. They're cool games. But I grew up, I grew up with PlayStation. So I grew up with um, uh, Spyro, uh, Crash, Te well, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing, stuff like that. That's a good ball. Oh, Australia, really tight at the back. Mena gets it back again. That was a good tackle. I don't know how he had the stamina to get back and get his man there. And that's another brilliant tackle. Just a shame that he can't pass. Yeah, those rewards are definitely um, a bit biased, aren't they? Through voting and stuff. That was a great goal. That was Vidal with the goal. That's 1-0 to Chile. And, um, yeah, there we go. We finally broke through Australia's stubborn defence through one through ball. And it went all the way through and smashed it in. Nice. Great shot by Vidal. He was in the right position at the right time as well. Didn't really expect Vidal to be there. Expected Sanchez or Vargas. I think Chile, if we... Well, obviously, if we win this one, um, we'll definitely be in to the round of 16. It just depends on who we get. Who was the last English player to play for Real Madrid? Um, David Beckham? David Beckham? Maybe? Am I right in saying that? Oh, good save. Yeah, Bowser put in the chat just now, David Beckham, yeah. Out to the wing to Isla, who's another very pacey winger. Crossed in. Oh, I went for it, but unlucky there. I think that was Sanchez that made that kind of shot. Decent little overhead, a little scissor kick. British would be Gareth Bell, yeah. Jonathan Woodgate, yeah. I was just about to mention that. Michael Owen as well. Um, he played for Real Madrid, didn't he? When Malaysia scores against you in the 2010 World Cup game in the future, we laugh at you because I support Malaysia. McManaman, yeah. There's been some really good English players that have played for Real Madrid. Hopefully Bellingham can continue that. Was Nicky Butt a good player? Um, yeah, I, I believe so. He played for Man United and um, Man United and Newcastle, right? Uh, Likovakovic nearly made a mistake and Morata almost scored. Thank God it was Morata then that was on the ball. Because anybody else, they probably would have scored. Um, do I play Counter-Strike? No, I've never played it before. Never played that game before. I I know it's a good game, but I've never played it. Not even on console. I've never played it. The console version. Sanchez into the middle. This has to be a goal. It is a goal. And that is two. Vargas with the second. That was a nice play. Really nice play. England needs more players abroad. They do, to be fair. They always say, like, you know, why don't English players go abroad? Do I know how Gascoigne got the nickname Gaza? I I assume it's just like a nickname because in 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 um England, like like obviously Wayne Rooney was called Raza, wasn't he? Raza Rooney. Um. So yeah, that's what that's just a thing we do in England. We just 
like if you're if you're called like Daz or whatever, you say oh Dazza like sort of thing, or it's just it's sort of like a British slash Australian thing to do, I think, unless you've got a proper reason for it. I don't know. These Chileans are spicy. Yeah, they are. Cooking up Australia right now. Only a 2-0, but, you know, you've got to make baby steps in these World Cups. We've had seven shots to Australia's one. Australia have been penned in. Uh, but they went down. Referee. Come on, man. That is that is blatant dive. Waza, Manamum, and Maka. <laughs> Sandra, Abraham, Smalling, and Tomori, some really good examples. Yeah. I'd definitely say Smalling really improved when he when he let left um when he left United. Really improved. And I knew that was gonna go in. It's Tim Cahill. Yeah. 89th minute, Tim Cahill. That's three free kicks the AI has scored against me. Another mistake by Croatia, man. This is just not good, man. I'm not liking the news that I'm hearing. What would it look like with the name Tobo? Toza? Yeah, probably. I'm not liking the news that's coming through about Croatia, by the way. About them constantly making mistakes at the back. They need to sharpen up. If. Your information is to go by. Oh, that better not be offside. Oh, Alexis Sanchez. Silky. Silky Alexis. Into the middle. Oh, good save. Oh, I thought he saved it, but it wasn't. And Vargas again has scored. Nice one. That was a really good free kick, yeah. I am 31, yeah. We we switched the numbers, <laughs> but that was, I thought he saved that. I literally thought he saved that off the line. This shot here, or maybe not. <laughs> it actually went quite over. Yeah, Tim Cahill, great free kick. At least the AI can score free kicks against me. I just need to limit the amount of free kicks that they get against me. But there we go. Um, we beat Australia three one. Realistic, I'd say. Very realistic result. That's what I love about this game. It's very realistic. Um, you know, Australia didn't really have that many chances, but when they got the free kick, they took it. Just like in real life. Mm, exactly. Exactly. That's why I said realistic. Come on, Croatia. There's a niche subreddit called 13 or 30 would fit me very well. Why, do I, do I look 13 years old? <laughs> a lot of people say that I look like I'm 21 or 22. A lot, I get that a lot. Um, but they always say I look younger than I, I am. Which is nice, obviously, to say that you're younger. Just playing Championship Manager 2003-2004. What a throwback. I, I owned that game on PC ages ago. That was a great game. Right, we're going to do more pace drills. I'm just going to keep spamming pace because if Chile can get loads of pace, then we'll be unstoppable. Yeah, nil-nil at half time to turn it around. 3-1. Really, really good. Really, really good result. Apart from playing, do I also cook? Yeah, I cook. I do cook myself. Um, I cook a lot of chicken-based dishes, pasta-baked dishes, um, you know, uh, stuff like that. Mainly pasta. I do pasta. A lot of pasta. Because I'm trying to, like, get bigger. So I always have, like, pasta or red meat and stuff like that. Chicken. So I just, I'm spamming that at the moment. Well done, he's 13. What an iconic clip that is. I That came up on my TikTok the other day and it's just so funny. He literally smashes, smashes like these shots at this like 13 year old kid and he like, celebrates. He celebrates like he's like scored a goal in, in an actual Premier League match. So funny. And the guy's like, well done, he's 13. <laughs> if you were in FIFA, what would your pace be? Um, I don't know. 
what right now my pace wouldn't be that high i'd probably say like 50 50 60 um maybe 40 actually if you think about it because even amateur footballers are probably faster than me um but when i do my captain your country with myself then um obviously we can i can do those stats but look at the form only Medell has got terrible form um everybody else is fine Oh, sorry, Yane, I forgot to look at the groups. I will do it after this match, I promise. I promise. Am I a fan of the goalkeeper Scott Sterling? I've never heard of him. Who is he? Who is he? Enlighten me. Who is Scott Sterling? Biggest match of the group... Um, is against Germany. This will be the real test if Chile can beat five star nations. If we can, then you know, we got a really good chance of winning this whole thing on stream, which would be great. If we can win it, then that'll be a stream highlight for sure. He's f comedy skits where he says five penalties through his face. Ah, oh, I've never seen that. I've never seen that. Biggest test of them all against Germany. 2014 Germany. The team that I had the most problems with on this game when I first had it. Because I used to play online World Cups. Um, and if I, I ran into anybody who played with Germany, I always got knocked out. Always. And it used to annoy me so much when people just spam Germany uh, on this game online. The guy in the Owen clip is Neville Southall. Ah, I didn't, never knew that. It's so funny, though, the way he says it. It's like, he's 13. Well done, he's 13. To be fair, like, that kid that was in goal, he did save a couple of shots from Michael Owen. If you're 13 and sh saving shots from Michael Owen, that's not actually that bad. Meltzer, terrible cross. Why is that always happen? Why is Chile just letting that sort of go? Like, why don't players go towards the ball? Even if I'm pressing the button, why are they not going towards the ball? Oh, no. Germany, playing really nicely. This is very realistic of the game. Tackled. Weird flex, but okay all the time. Yeah, that was a that was a thing, wasn't it? Back back, I think that was during the pandemic, wasn't it? To be fair though, the first time I heard it, like in the right context, it can be so funny. Like if someone's like ranting about their life or whatever on Twitter or TikTok, and then someone just puts that, it's just like it's just quite funny. But obviously, with most things, it just gets old very quickly. Mario Gomez, most underrated striker of all time. Definitely. Definitely in closer shadow, wasn't he, in Germany? Do I like turkey food or only chicken? I like turkey as well. The only thing with turkey, though, is that turkey can be quite dry. But chicken is... I think chicken's better. But, um, yeah, turkey can be quite dry if you don't cook it correctly, which is probably the case with me. Like, i probably just do it too much. Favourite Yeovil Town player from the early 2000s. Wow. Um, probably Terry Skiverton. He's, um, he's a Yeovil Town legend. He was a very good player, very good centre-back. Um, you know, he's, he's a legend. And he's managed the club a couple of times, even though he got them relegated a few times. But he's still a legend. Um, so, yeah, probably early 2000s, probably him. Do I like Turkey country or food? Both. I like Turkey, the country. 
I've been to Turkey before. It's really nice. I went there in 2010. I went to, um, I gotta get this right. Dalaman? Is it Dalaman in Turkey? I went, I went there. It was very nice place. Very, very nice place. Very friendly people. Andy Silver goal compilation. There's actually a compilation on YouTube of like all of San Marino's international goals. It's around about maybe six to eight minutes long. It's um quite a sight to behold. Good ball. Isla. Cross that in. Oh, that's no, nowhere going anywhere near. Stubborn game between both of these sides. Very well matched up. Of course, you're going to have that with two good international teams. Norway bottled it. Yeah, they did. They pulled Haaland off and then suddenly they can see two goals. I know... I know... Um, I know he's not a defender, but still. It does impact the game if you're going to take your best striker off. <laughs> Yane's going to rant to you about Macedonia now. And bottling it against Ukraine. Nil-nil between Chile and Germany. <laughs> Chelsea goal compilation from April 2023. Yeah, it is a banger to be fair. It is an absolute banger. You were there? You were there in the stadium when it happened? Oh, that must have been tragic. To see your international team bottle a lead like that, I would have been so angry if it was England. I'd have been like, Southgate out. Like, all over social media. Southgate out, Southgate out. Even though he's been one of our best managers in recent years. Oh, did you see that pass? That was beautiful. It's Fargus. Oh my god, I should have laid it off. My love is chicken. I do love chicken. The protein in it is unreal. I had lots of chicken tonight. I had I had stir fry with chicken in it. And then on the side of the stir fry, I had um, chicken, but it was a different flavor chicken. It was like chicken tikka or something. So I had chicken stir fry and chicken <laughs> for a side. So too much chicken. Probably not. Not enough chicken. Chile are really fast on this game. They're a really good team to use. I've never really used 2014 Chile. Chile looks like a chili pepper. It does, to be fair, on a map. It actually does. It looks like one of those like really thin, light chilies. Like really, really thin, stringy chilies. Here in USA, we had Greg Berhalter. He left. They look at, look for another coach only to hire Greg Berhalter again. Classic. I don't know who they would replace Gareth Southgate with if he left England. It's quite a... Everybody kept saying um, Graham Potter should be England manager before he went to Chelsea. Now he's actually like basically ruined his career or his chances of doing that because he went to Chelsea. So I think the best bet would be probably Eddie Howe. No! Oh, Germany! For goodness sake, it's Marco Royce. And it's 1-0 to Germany, but we're already through anyway, so it doesn't matter. We can have Hansi Flick. There are rumours that... Um, well... Not rumours, but a lot of people seem to say to me that Klopp's going to leave Liverpool next year and manage Germany. And I just really hope not. I just hope not. But if Klopp, if Klopp wins a World Cup with Germany, if ever, if he did, then he has to be one of the greatest managers uh, of all time. Like, in terms of, like, not of all time, but you know what I mean. Like, he, he, it would cement his status as one of the greatest because I, although I would love to see Klopp win the World Cup after he's done with Liverpool, but I don't want him to leave Liverpool. I don't want that to happen. I think I probably would legit be so sad 
if that happened, like, I probably might actually cry. <laughs> I probably would. What if England had Neil, War not Neil Warnock? That would be a terrible, terrible replacement for Southgate. What do you miss? You missed a win against Australia. That was a good win. I I won against Australia just now. It was 3-1. Austria beating uh, Australia. 2-0. Kadira to Muller. Royce. Goetze. Look at this passing play by Germany. Oh, wow, that went in again. Mario Gomez, the guy you were talking about, has um, just scored to make it 2 0. Fair enough. Um. Do I think Didier Deschamps is one of the best managers in history? He is good. He is really good. Very, very good manager. I would say probably in terms of World Cup, yeah. Probably one of the best. Probably one of the best. I'm so disappointed with my... I uh, can't really pronounce that. Uh, Quembrin? Is that how you say it? Town tomorrow in Newport. Bottled it against Newport, sorry. That's unlucky. I remember when Newport were actually like fairly decent. <laughs> I don't know where they are now, but you th used to think Arnie was Australian. <laughs> Oh my god, Germany, please. That was a good tackle. Very good challenge. It's being at Old Trafford. Oh, what, the England game against Macedonia? Yeah, it is. It's being played at Old Trafford. Couldn't think of a worse place to play a football match, but there we go. <laughs> it's Liverpool's training ground, Old Trafford. Hmm, good save. Deschamps is lucky to have Mbappe and all the other... French players, though. Yeah, he did inherit a good squad. Very good squad. I think that... Um, I think even Southgate would have won a World Cup with um, that French team. Good challenge for Dal. Vargas. Can we get just one goal? Probably not. Germany a bit too good. So, against a five-star team, especially one like Germany, Chile just haven't really done much, I'd say. Um, Germany a bit too powerful. That's a third. Damn it, man. Uh, Schmelzer scores. Croatia had three handballs. Really? Wembley is England's main stadium. Interesting they're not playing at Wembley. I can't believe I have to watch 90 minutes of Hansi Flick Terrible on Tuesday. <laughs> That's so strange because like people kept saying that at a point, at a point in time, people kept saying that Hansi Flick was like one of the best managers in world football right now and stuff like that. And now like people are literally like hating on him. I don't know. I don't really know. Well, obviously, you probably know why. I feel bad for Marco Royce. He would have won the Bundesliga if not for Bayern Munich. To be fair, that was Dortmund. They bottled it hard. They bottled it hard. Go on, go for the strike. Oh, oh okay. Oh. oh, come on, Germany. Why are you too good on this game? Why did you have to go and win the 2014 World Cup? Why did you have to beat Brazil 7-1? Yeah, I'm getting destroyed by Germany. This is the problem that's going to undo Chile in the next round. They can celebrate like this after losing 3-0. But, I mean, it's kind of embarrassing. But um, if we run into another five-star team that's going to do that again, then, yeah, um, we'll be out before we know it. He, I'm never shaking Joe Kinlo's hand. Yeah, I've seen the memes. 
I know where he puts his hand. He literally still picks uh, Thilelo, Philo Kera for the national team. I'm not sure who that is, but he doesn't sound like a good footballer. Germany destroy me. They take home the three points and go top. So Chile might have to play against someone big in the next round. Germany has not even got to the knockout since... That's true. That's very true. Um, they, they haven't, have they? Wow. That's something that you don't really think about too often. You know, Germany failed in 2018. And um, 2022... <sighs> They weren't very good either, were they? So who we got? Let's check out the groups first. So for uh, Yane, who was asking for it. So Uruguay and Mexico go through in Group A. In Group B, Italy and Haiti go through in Group B. Uh, group C, Brazil and Korea Republic. Group D, Switzerland and Spain. Puerto Rico beat someone. I wonder who that was against. I, my guess is Cameroon. I reckon they beat Cameroon. Uh, group E, Argentina and Peru go through. Uh, group F, obviously it's Germany and Chile. Uh, group G, Colombia and Ghana go through. And in Group H, Scotland and England go through. Portugal going out in that one, quite surprisingly. So we've got Uruguay versus Haiti. Spain versus Brazil. Uh, Italy versus Mexico. Switzerland versus South Korea. Uh, Argentina versus Chile, so that's going to be a tough match. England versus Colombia, Germany versus Peru, and Scotland versus Ghana. Oh, I didn't know that, uh, Mr. Krabs. He plays for West Ham and is the worst right back I've seen in the national team. <laughs> oh, no. He did win the Conference League, though, technically. Technically, he won the Conference League, so that's something. But, I mean... I doubt that means much to you, to be honest, as a German fan. <laughs> Before I start, let me just check the score between Croatia and Spain. Still nil-nil. 32 minutes in. Croatia had a chance just now from Ivan Perisic header. But um, it's a warning sign. It wasn't really a good chance, but it's a warning sign, apparently. Okay. Scotland are playing Ghana. Portugal got grouped. Yeah, they did. Also in the two World Cups hosted in Asia, the two winners were South American teams, Brazil and Argentina. Nice. Yeah, Pascal Gross is really good. Re very good footballer. Very good. Why am I... Oh, my stats are down because I lost against Germany? Come on, that's really harsh. That's super harsh. I'm still going to stick with pace, though, because I want to outpace Argentina. Copper 2015-16 final rematch? Yeah. Where Chile won it. They, they won that game, didn't they? Didn't uh, Claudio Bravo, like, basically, wasn't he, like, the hero or something in that game, if I remember rightly? Was he? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just fantasizing, but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not safe, Abdulovic. They're not safe. Otamendi is quite slow. That's very true. Why is the game like this? If there's anything, there's no shame in losing to a team like Germany. Yeah, exactly. It's very punishing on higher difficulties. Because on on um, amateur difficulty or semi-pro, if you lose 3-0 against Germany somehow, then the stats don't really go down that much. But because on the higher difficulties, if you lose like one game, even if you won all your games and you lose one game in qualifying, for example, against Germany, your stats tank. And it's just like, that's not that realistic. I mean, I would understand if, like, Germany won 5-0, but it was only 3-0, and it was a game that didn't really matter. Still picks Goretzka. Argentina versus Chile, then. 
live on the Tobaloco channel. Let's hope that we can stop Argentina. Let's dump Messi out the World Cup. You looking forward to this? Yeah, me too. Me too, dude. I'm more looking forward to hopefully Croatia lifting up that uh, trophy at the end of the end of the night. But we'll we'll see. Chile and Argentina faced in 2015-2016 Copper Final. Oh, I didn't know that, Mr. Krabs. I didn't know that they had back-to-back -back Copper Americas. That's very strange. Did they actually, did Cape Verde Islands beat Burkina Faso? That's really good. See, Cape Verde Islands are not a bad little nation either. They do pick up results here and there that kind of like think, oh, that's actually pretty damn good. Right, let's see. Let's see what we can do against Argentina. Straight away, I've run into trouble. This is the finalist of 2014. Obviously, Argentina. Mopped up by a Toro Vidal. Diaz. Come on, Alexis. Get in position, dude. Sanchez. Go on. Oh, that's so... Keeper, that should have been a pen, right? That, that was a foul, 100%. You want Cape Verde Islands to qualify for 2026? There is a chance now that's more African spots. They almost did it. Didn't they almost do it in um, 2018 or 2022? No. Oh, my God. It had to be, didn't it? It had to be that man. Damn it. Oh, I see. I didn't realise that. Opinion on the FIFA theme that plays before matches. I don't mind it. It's kind of like sort of iconic at this point, isn't it? Sort of thing. But Messi scored. It's 1-0 uh, in the ninth minute. Um, he literally owned me, pretty much. Oh. With Chile, they haven't qualified since uh, 2014. I know that in 2018, obviously, they failed, but... Obviously, well, they would have failed in 2022 too. So, yeah, a bit of a strange one, to be honest. Maybe the current group of players that they had in 2014 just ran out of steam. Or something like that. Oh, how? Macedonia, one point. Ah, sorry, dude. Vargas out to Mena. Uh, twisting and turning. Oh, I don't understand that physics situation there, but okay. Trying to look for uh, Sanchez, really, but he's not getting in those positions that I want him to get into. Crossed in. Oh, it blocked again. Croatia with a header. Do I hate Messi? No, I don't hate Messi. I like him. But I would say I do prefer Ronaldo over Messi. Just because Ronaldo is more athletic. And I prefer the mo more athletic side to football. So, like, obviously Ronaldo can score when he wants to. He can score really good long shots and stuff and overhead kicks. Messi, not so much. Ref, get out of the way, dude. Oh, Argentina have really just gone. Yep, yeah, we're going to tighten up. Croatia looked like they're having more, more chances then in that match against Spain. Robert Earnshaw. Um, uh, I don't really know too much. I know who you're talking about, but... I don't really have an opinion, to be honest. 
Robert Earnshaw. Come on. Why is Otamendi so OP? Like, why is he actually getting back and tackling? If that is Otamendi, that is. It could have been someone else. Oh, my God. See, against five-star teams, like, Germany have completely ruined my form with that 3-0 uh, defeat that they gave me. They basically just gave me a massive FU before I went into the round of 16. Get out. Ooh. I've already got Vidal on midfield. Definitely already got him on. I wouldn't I wouldn't not have him in midfield. He's like Chile's best player in 2014. Half time then. Uh it is 1-0. Not bad. I just can't really get past Argentina's defense. They kind of just like Turtle shell as soon as I keep going towards their their net, which is fair enough, but it's just like really you're gonna play like that. Garay, even slower than Otamendi. See, I don't understand. How is he like keeping up with Alexis? And Eduardo Vargas as well, because Vargas is fast. Yes, come on, and it's uh, Alexis Sanchez. Come on, come on. Alexis Sanchez does it. He equalises for Chile. That was such an easy goal. Like, all I had to do was just pass it in there, turn around, and they didn't really stop it. Where was that centre-back going? Aguero joined Barcelona because he wanted to play with Messi, but left right when he joined. Ali Day, yeah, he's a good player. He's a good player, very good player. Five attempts for Spain and four for Croatia. Very even game then. Do Croatia still get a medal if they come second place? Do you still get a medal? I imagine you do, right? Just so that if they do lose, I can get the comfort that Croatia have another second place medal to add to the collection. Even though I want the trophy, but at the same time, you know, a medal is a medal. Terrible pass there, but oh, what the hell are Argentina doing? I oh, spam me there. No, no, oh, just wide. That should have been a goal. When my tongue gets stuck. I always do that when I concentrate. <laughs> yeah, why are they playing Eric Lamella right now? World Cup game with classic teams. Kind of like what NBA does with their classic teams. From different eras of NBA. That would be class. That would be like the ultimate World Cup game for me. Corner for um, Argentina. Crossed in. Please get rid of it. Who is this? Just tried to mark me then. Every time I tackle Argentina, they seem to still retain possession. Which is just like... Well, that's a classic five-star team trope on these games. Mena is going forward. Can we do it? Into the box. Oh, what was that control? Oh, that's the only thing I hate about 2014 is that kind of control. In a situation like that, I need a perfect control. And he just toe it out the box. 
That might cost me a goal as well. Okay, it didn't, thankfully. Does EA still have their uh, World Pro license? Uh, I don't think they do. Hey, da, how are you doing? I am good. How are you? I'm just doing some random World Cup game runs tonight. Just because, obviously, it's International Football Day again. Oh, I thought that might have been a penalty to Argentina. Half time, nil nil. Come on, drummer. We need Croatia to score. Over the top here. Alexis Sanchez. That was a beautiful ball, by the way. Into the middle. Oh. FIFA 14 at it again. Yeah. Always with the old FIFAs. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm -mm. Hey North Star. Nice of you to drop in. Okay, this is getting a little bit concerning. Okay, we got the ball back. That's cool. Oh, Argentina, that was dirty. Why did you leave it? <laughs> Why does the AI do that from time to time? Just, like, leave the ball. Oh, ref, come on. You can't even, like... You can't even, like, um... <laughs> you can't even, like, tackle Argentina without getting that. They took off Messi? I didn't even notice that. I thought it was just a... A, a cutscene. Do I smoke? No, I don't smoke. Come on. Ah, oh, I thought I had him then. Twisting and turning and stuff. Damn it, it's going to go to extra time, isn't it? Extra time than it is. Did I see that speed Matt Ronaldo? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty pretty cool. Pretty cool. Is Serbia the next run? I can make it my next run. I probably got one more run in me, considering that Chile's going quite far at the moment. Um I think something needs to change. A couple of these players need to come off, I think. Mm, Suazo for Vargas, I think so. That's a good, a good thing. Aaron Gies, yeah, we haven't uh, used him. Aaron Gies, come on. Um, Fernandez. What I'll do though is take off Diaz, put Aaron Gies there. There we go. That'll do. That will do. You're stressed for Chile. <laughs> Triple substitution. Alexis Sanchez is running out of steam. Will Chile make this meet the same fate as they did in... Why wouldn't it let me change player then? That was so stupid. Oh, see? Why didn't the game let me change player? There was clearly a player uh, closer to the ball. But yeah, will Chile make the same fate as they did in the Real 2014 World Cup against another South American opponent? This time Argentina, not Brazil. Better not be pens. Crossed in. That was lucky, because Bravo, I don't know what he was doing there. Sanchez is running out of steam. Fernandez. Oh, that's going to be offside, isn't it? Yeah, offside. Uh, round of 16. That's what it is. Round of 16 against Argentina. Isla on the ball. 
Oh, not a very good pass. And that wasn't either. I don't know where that pass was going. Okay, well, that was a bit of a nothing uh, extra time first half. Just hold on or maybe try and score. It's been quite an even-ish game. <laughs> yeah, you probably would lunge at him if he met Messi. Higuain's coming on for Aguero. Not liking the sound of this. Higuain 2014 coming on. He better not score against me. That would be the equivalent of like Fred scoring against me. Foul? For who? Me? Yeah, thank you. Oh my god, that passed, but thankfully. You wouldn't mind seeing a penalty shootout? That would be pretty cool, to be fair. I don't think both of these teams have it in them to score a goal. Oh my god, see what I mean? Unlucky to get Argentina in a round of 16. I would not I would have got Peru, but Germany smashed me in the last game. And um, yeah, they took the three points instead. So I had to play Argentina, which is just, I don't know, a bit frustrating, but it's okay. <laughs> Four minutes to play then. Is it really the whole Croatia fans? That's really cool. Oh, I did that too early. That was a waste. An absolute waste. Come on. Oh, really? Suazo. Oh, you can't even touch Argentina. Are the penalties in this game hard to save? I don't know, really. It depends who you're playing against. It looks like it might go to pens. Go on. Oh, no. That was like Colo Morani moment at the World Cup. Oh, my goodness. That should have gone in. <laughs> the what if. The what if of the World Cup. Oh, come on. Yeah, Higuain was at Inter Miami a few months ago. Imagine if he stayed. Alright, penalty shootout it is. Penalty shootout. Here we go then. I'm not changing the lineup. I think it's perfect. Come on then. Garay with the first penalty. Are you cheeky? Cheeky man. Okay. Vidal. Oh, that was close. He went the white right ray. But, okay. Cool. Come on. Higuain. Penalty. Oh, I went that way. I went that way. Maybe because I did an animation beforehand. Maybe it got stuck or something. Boom. 2-2 two, two on penalties. Come on, Lamella. Where are you going? Where are you going, dude? It's Lamella, right? Oh, you cheeky... Yes! Oh, no! I, f oh, I knew he was going to... Well, he stuttered, and then I went that way, and... Oh, this game, man. Aaron Gies. Boom! Yes. Not Romero? Yes. A bit strange, isn't it? Perez? I saved it! Why did he palm it into his own net? Oh, this game is so BS, dude. Suazo. He has to... Oh, of course! Of course! He does the same animation, it palms it onto the post. That is absolute BS. How did Bravo not keep out the last shot? It's uh, Lavezzi. Are you absolute... Oh! <laughs> Oh, I think I got BS'd out of that penalty shootout. Only because Bravo saved that penalty, but it went into the back of the net. And then Argentina had the exact same situation. And it still, well, it didn't, it didn't, um, 
it didn't stay out. So it was just like, what? Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that was a decent-ish run, but it was realistic as well because Chile got knocked out on penalties in real life in 2014. So, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Um, yeah, so a few results coming up right now. Um, <laughs> you wanted me to win even though you're from Argentina? Yeah, I, I got very unlucky. Right, who's winning this World Cup? Is it Germany? Oh, it's England. Yes, come on. Come on, England, overrated on 2014. Um, that's your top players. And um, let me see the tournament tree before we end this run. Any surprises? Haiti in the round of 16? That's quite a surprise. Um, although they did have an easy group. Italy went to the third place playoff against Uruguay, beat them 2-1. Um, Uruguay had a really good run in that World Cup. Um, Scotland almost. Went to the semis, almost. Pretty good. Um, yeah, cool. Alright. Another one. Another one. Another one. So, um, since we've already done Chile, so um, we'll put in Macedonia and um, Serbia in the Q&A. I put Macedonia... Macedonia. I only do, I only do um a few. Well, you know, I mean, I only do like Serbia. Someone, someone said, someone said Liberia, uh, a few moments ago. I'm gonna add them to the poll. Um, and who else? I can't really see the chat right now because I'm typing. But Zimbabwe, Georgia, could add them to the list. I'll let you guys vote on it because obviously that's probably the fairest way to do it. I'll just put those. Hang on, actually. You know what? Since. Actually, no, I won't do a poll. I won't do a poll. Um, most of you are saying Serbia in the chat. So I think I'm going to do Serbia because. Um, Abdulovic has been waiting since the start of the stream for uh, Serbia, so I'll do, I'll do Serbia. I'll, I'll 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 do Serbia. I'll give him Serbia since he's been here since the start, and he he kind of deserves it for sitting through uh, two hours and forty two minutes of the stream. So I'm gonna replace um, Switzerland with Serbia. Serbia, where are you? There you are. Four star team. Okay, not bad. World ranking, 41 in the world. Who are we replacing then? Let's try and replace some of these, like, smaller. You don't like the England national team? Come on, Croatia, for the second half. Come on. Put in Taiwan. I can put in Taiwan. Taiwan for Iran? Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah, it's not Taiwan, is it? On this game. It's that. Pakistan? I'm going to replace Nigeria for Pakistan. Put in Montenegro, Macedonia... Yugoslav teams. I'll put him. I'll put him Montenegro in there just to spice things up. Um, what am I doing? Uh, I'm going to replace the United States with Montenegro. I think just because I think that's a fair trade-off. Montenegro are good on this game. Three-star team. Korea Republic for Malaysia. Uh, I thought, for some reason, I thought someone scored. Norway? Yeah, put in Norway. Put in Norway for Ecuador. I'm just randomising it, by the way. I'm literally not caring about confederations now. Because this will probably be, most likely be my last run tonight. Because we're approaching the three-hour mark. It'll probably be four hours, actually. 
Well, I'm done with this. Is Canada in the game? Yeah, they're in the game. Uganda. I put them in the last run. Put Gabon. Gabon for Ivory Coast. Gabon for Ivory Coast. Honduras with Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland it is. Namibia. Namibia for... Let's put in Mexico. Namibia, where are you? There you are. Serbia going to win the World Cup? You should think so with this kind of lineup. Um, we need to keep some more of the big teams. Although... Um, Venezuela... Venezuela for Uruguay, since we've already played him. Venezuela for Uruguay. Venezuela goated team. My first team that I won the 2014 World Cup in. Croatia. I think they're already in here, I think. Yeah, they're here. Um, I'm going to take out Costa Rica. Um, you want the UAE in there? I can put the UAE in there. There we go. UAE for Costa Rica. Replace Ghana with Senegal. That seems like a really good trade-off. I could do that. I won't put too many more in because, um, you know, uh, I don't want it to be completely screwed. I still want to play the big teams. Um, Australia for Singapore. Didn't you win the World Cup with France in 2014? Yeah. I did. I That was a standard run, though, I think. A standard run, I, th I believe. Um, not a qualifying run. So it still counts because, you know, it was a good run. But, um, yeah, qualifying, though, definitely a uh, uh, thing. Ireland for England? Okay. We'll get rid of England and put Ireland in there. Oops, need put Israel. Okay, right. I am done with that. No more. Um, let's go into the groups then and see what kind of groups Serbia get with a randomization tool. It's looking good so far, that group. That's not a bad group, but I want to randomize it. So, in three, two, one, boom. Wow, really? Oh, why does this game give me those kind of groups all the time? Why? I don't really want to play France and Argentina in the same group. That would be... I'll be dead. Um, I'll do it one more time, but one more time. One more time. That's it. I'm using my my second chance card. <laughs> I know it's cheating, but it's fine. Okay. Three, two, one. Boom. Where are we? Okay, I'll take that. Spain, Japan, uh, Spain, Japan Pakistan. Yeah, I'll have that. I'll, I'll take that any day. Because in group B, we have Russia... UAE, Namibia, and Colombia. So, um, I think that's I think that's a really good trade off. I think I think that's a really good, um, yeah, a really good one. That's a good that's a good path. I think. Why is it? I, honestly, the game really hates me. It put France and Argentina in the same group. I was like, come on, that's just so unfair. Let's have a look. See who Serbia have got in twenty fourteen. Um, we've got Ivanovic. Nastasic Kolarov, um, this guy who I know, but I can't really pronounce his name. Thacia, is that how you say it? Um, Tosic, Markovic, remember Markovic? He is quite fast. Um, who else have we got? Subatic, Nimko Subatic. He could probably be a good player, actually. Really? Uh, um, yeah, for him, definitely. Uh... <laughs> yeah, the game really wants me to suffer, doesn't it? Um, Matic has to be on the pitch, 100%. In any Serbia team, he has to be there. And um, Vidic? I don't think he's here, dude. I don't think he's here. I think he retired before, sadly. In 2010, he's on this game. Group E had put Brazil, Argentina and Portugal. Massive, massive group for those nations. 
So we got Pakistan. There shouldn't be too much of a problem. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Okay. Let's go then. Let's go. Come on, Croatia. Please score. Please. Please score. Fidic retired after 10. Ah. Oh. Portugal was noob team in 2014. <laughs> Vidic retired after failing to qualify for Euro 2012. He's really good on World Cup 2010. Every time I have to play Vidic or Serbia, it's just like, um, it's really tough. If you get Serbia in a World Cup run on 20, 2010, you can guarantee they'll just like basically suffocate you defensively with Vidic at the back. Here we go then. Serbia versus Pakistan. I wonder how this will go. Look at that um, fan made Muriel at the back. Croatia love to go the extra time. I really don't want them to do that. But if they have to, they have to. You know, if that's their tactic, then fair enough. Do you have the Spain Croatia game on while playing? I have a text, I have a text feed, because I can't find an actual stream, I have a text feed. So it's just not, it's just letters basically going up a screen telling me what's happening. But it's hard to like concentrate on chat and the game and that at the same time. Here we go then, Serbia, a brand new run. Can Serbia be the team that can win the 2014 World Cup? They have a good route, it's just obviously... Um, yeah. Oh, what was that? Okay. Fair enough. Oh, that was a good catch. You know, interesting, Bosnia Herzegovina qualified for the World Cup, but never qualified for the Euros. Sometimes that just happens, though, doesn't it? Sometimes nations do qualify through luck or something like that. You know... I mean, Greece won the Euros, didn't they? But they could could never win the World Cup. <laughs> Obviously, because, you know, teams like Brazil and Argentina are never in there. But yeah, Bosnia, that was pretty cool that they qualified for 2014. Although, my favourite player at the time, MNEK, did did own them. They did He did own them, to be fair. He did score against them, so... Pakistan, super defensive here. Serbia qualified for three World Cups since becoming independent. Never qualify for the Euros. Wow. Pakistan 10, Serbia 0. Imagine. Imagine if Pakistan actually beat me. I'd probably like switch off the stream. <laughs> Go on. Oh. oh, how are you missing that? Oh. That was such a bad shot. Okay, well, to 18 minutes in and still nil-nil. Come on, man. Tadic. Oh, stupid deflection. I wish Ibrahimovic played for Bosnia once so he could have Dzeko and um, uh, Ibrahimovic. That would have been cool. Yeah, I did miss a sitter. I did. That was horrific. Well, that's the thing I hate about playing small nations the most, is that, like, they're just so awkward at the back. See, like, all these random deflections that the game just musters up for no reason. It's just like, please stop.
Oh yeah, it is. It is. That's true, Mr. Krabs. That's very true. Oh, please. Ugh. How was Serbia this bad in front of goal? Seriously. It's just so awkward. Oh my days. Like Pakistan are like all over the place and they're still in this. Oh my god. <laughs> Serbia are awful in 2014. At the moment anyway. The Falklands could play in the Copa America or something. Come on. Come on. They are literally playing Tom and Jerry football. It's actually insane how they're still here at 0 0. Collar off. Of course. <laughs> of course, man. Well, we're going to go to half time and Pakistan are holding on. They're holding on for dear life. That is super annoying. Very, very annoying, that is. I don't think Serbia are going to do anything if they keep playing like this. Seven shots to Pakistan, zero. <sighs> we were all over them in that first half, and yet we couldn't score. That's what I mean about small teams. They're just so annoying. All right, get it, Matic. And now, sweat goal, please. What is this? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> That's so trash. Oh my god, that is so awful. Right, please. Oh my days. Serbia are trash. Oh my god. Look at this team. Right, through ball here. Get it! Oh my goodness! Pakistan! Why? Why bumping into each other constantly? Oh my days, this is so bad! So bad! This team is awful, they can't even tackle! And when they do, they're just so, like, I don't know. It's so bad. You're attacking, I think. I didn't think i will be an hour into the game. Oh my god, this is just so awkward. Right, I don't know how I got away with that, but... Jesus Christ, Serbia, you're awful. No, don't you dare. This is just so trash. That's <laughs> so trash. Get out! <laughs> oh my God. Oh my good God. Serbia, awful. Just shocking, team. We're getting, like, held by Pakistan. Just so you are all aware, we're still getting a hold by Pakistan. If Serbia did this in real life, there'll be questions to answer. Right, please. Please. Yes! Finally, after 72 minutes, 72 minutes, we score with this dude. Finally. 
Well, at least, to be fair, give Pakistan some credit. They held on with their really awful defending. Well, actually good defending, but the problem was it was so calamitous that it actually put me into a bit of a, a spin, I guess. But, <laughs> yeah, we scored 1-0. Are we only going to win against 1-0 against Pakistan? Are we actually only going to do that? That's quite embarrassing still. I don't know how Serbia are going to play. I don't know how the form's going to be after this game. Oh, look at this absolute disaster of the, an international team. Crossed in, please. Oh my. The Serbian goalkeeper sh should have just caught that. There's no way that you're just... <sighs> I just don't believe this. Like, Pakistan have actually played better than me. Despite not having many attempts on goal, they played way better than me. Pakistan is unlucky? Yeah. I'm literally so muddied if I'm not beating... Pakistan by more goals. I mean, fair play to them, but damn, is it super annoying. Oh, yeah, of course that had to happen, didn't it? Yeah, of course it did. Just a random deflection. That, this is a painful match. It's actually absolutely painful match. I just can't believe the lack of effort. <laughs> Defending like Burnley? Yeah, they are. Tadic? Dude, what are you doing stealing the ball off of Tadic? This absolute disaster. Don't clap. That was awful. Awful result. Even if it was a win. <laughs> Absolutely trash. That was so... Awful. That was so bad. I'm not even kidding. Do you think Barcelona versus Chelsea was a robbery? Leg two? Yeah, definitely. Some questionable decisions in that one. Hey, Sid. How you doing? They're playing like Atletico Madrid? They actually are. That was awful football from both teams. But Serbia was the biggest embarrassment because they could only muster a 1-0. I, like, I was playing like trash. I gotta hold my hands up and say I was playing like trash. <laughs> it's just, I don't know. At least it was funny, I guess, but. Okay, let's abuse pace. Let's abuse pace again. The biggest clubs of all time are Barcelona, Real Madrid, and uh, Liverpool, and AC Milan. I got to agree with that. I have to agree with that. Pakistan is very pro. Yeah, what? Oh, okay. I thought I failed that. That was strange. Come on. Let's get this pace up. Nastasic needs some pace. Okay. Has he Flick still plays the biggest terrible of all the managers? I mean, I played terrible in that one. Terrible in that one. My Pakistan did as well. <laughs> that was um, a hilariously bad match. And now we got Spain. Which I don't know what we're going to do in this match. If we're not beating Pakistan convincingly, how on earth are we going to do against Spain? Probably not very well. Let's just jump into it. Let's just jump straight into this one. Still nil-nil between Croatia and Spain. Inter is also one of the greatest clubs of all time. Excuse me. Mm. Right, Spain versus Serbia. 65th minute, Croatia nil, Spain nil. Doing well then. It's not like an absolute whitewash then from Spain. Well, I, I don't think it would be anyway, but still. Last time Croatia and Spain 
faced off in an actual tournament. Wasn't it like 5-3 or something like that? Euro, was it like Euro 2020? Right? Biggest robbery on football. Um, the Chelsea game against Barcelona, that was a robbery. Um, I don't actually know. Ribery, Ballon d'Or 2013, yeah, yeah, that's true. Look at Spain here, like, they're way more competent than Pakistan. So, you have to think that we'll be losing this game, like, 4-0 or something, if anything is to go by from how we played. I mean, Serbia just stumbling over themselves. It's just absolutely shocking. Barcelona, Chelsea, Rodri with a close shot, but out. Lewandowski should have got a Ballon d'Or in 2020. Why? I want to throw it to Kolarov. <laughs> Stupid game. That happens a lot now. Like, they keep throwing it out of play. It's just so dumb. Maybe I'm holding the, down the button too much. I don't know. Crossed in. And that's gone out for a corner. Pakistan champions in 2014. They might be able to win their next match. If they play like that against us, then they might win their next match. Oh, here we go. Tadic. In behind against Spain. Yes! Come on! That was so lucky because it took him... Well, they couldn't even catch him. Why is he doing no celebration celebration? I literally just pressed... Um, literally just pressed A. <laughs> Perisic is left back? Oh, I didn't know that. I knew he was a winger, obviously, but I didn't realise they were playing him in a more defensive role. So, we score early on against Spain, but struggle against Pakistan. Work that one out. Like I said there, it's probably because Spain are a more competent team on the ball and didn't make loads of errors. Whereas Pakistan's sort of like clumsy play was kind of throwing me off quite a lot. That's why I said like, smaller teams are just really like, kind of a nuisance in a way. They're just more of a nuisance than anything. Crossed in. Okay, that was dodgy. Please clear it when I want to clear it. Go on. Oh, really? Didn't really want that. Okay, Spain give it away very sloppily. This guy. Through ball. Oh, I'm not going to get there. Or maybe I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm really surprised Serbia actually scored against Spain. Very surprised. Matic. Oh, that was unlucky. Matic going through that time. CDM Matic. Um, that was a bit BS. Not gonna lie, now I went straight back to him. Laser Markovic. Getting closed down here. Matic. I'm gonna go for it from. Oh, that was awful. Absolutely awful. I don't know why I tried that. I thought I'd go for a screamer with uh, Matic, considering he can do that, but. <sighs>
Still nil nil. Seventieth minute. No. Oh, please make a mistake. Ah. Oh. Kolarov going to shut down David Silva? Oh, maybe not. Because David Silva is trying to skill his way into the box. He's in Turkey right now, ladies and Markovic. It's a shame that he didn't quite make it at Liverpool. Because he was a good, speedy player. I don't know if he's still as speedy as he is now. Or, well, back then. But, um, yeah. No, it was a shame. It's a shame. Tadic on the ball here. They tried it. That was a audacious attempt. <laughs> Luckily, we block it. Jordi Alba. And that's going to go straight to the goalkeeper. Good play. Look at this. Serbia might have hit their stride a little bit more now. Terrible from Cassius there. Back to Cassius, and again, out, but not quite out. Oh, that almost snuck its way in. You know what's crazy? QPR first Man City when QPR 2 went up. The 18th place team, Bolt, Bolt, Wonders was, Bolt and Wanderers was losing anyway. This is their theory from Rooney. QPR let City win. That is a popular theory that has gone, gone, gone round. That is a popular theory, but I don't think it's true. I think like like QPR are just not a very good team. Yes! Two! It's Tadic again! Come on, why does he do that celebration when you hit the A button? It's really strange, but yeah, okay, fair enough. 2-0 against Spain. Good result. Very, very good. I'll take it. See you later, Spain. <laughs> that was incredibly lucky that like, it bounced out to me and I managed to put it into the bottom corner. Serbia kind of on a wall right now. See, 2 0 up against Spain but couldn't score a second against Pakistan. Just. Really very odd behaviour from Serbia. If we win this match, which it looks like we might, um, we'll go through to the round of 16. Juric is a goat of Serbia. Over the top, but mopped up. Come on. Good save. Yeah, I'm beating Spain at the moment. That's quite incredible, really. Uh, we're still 2-0 up with only 14 minutes to play. We've had seven shots, though, so we have been kind of all over them.
Come on. Uh, okay. What's the funniest footballer nickname in history? Oh, that's a tough one. Footballer nickname. Just trying to think. Spain into the box, and that's great defending. That should be game over. It is. Come on. Yeah, Mikhailo Mudrik, the uh, um, ghost of Kiev. Yeah, that's quite a good one. Thank you, Amareza. No problem. I don't mind going live. As long as you guys enjoy it, I'm going to keep doing it. You seem to have liked this live today. This live has actually been really good. It's got... Good numbers today. Very good numbers. Livakovic went out the goal and the ball went to Spain and took a shot. They didn't score, obviously, though, did they? That's good still. It annoys me so much when, like, well, Croatia do those kind of things. <laughs> All right, so we're top of the group. We've gone through. Uh, our next game is against Japan. Um, they've still got to play Pakistan, which I assume they would be winning that game. Right? Surely? <laughs> um, yeah, they did. Okay, so checking out the groups at the the stage. We've got Serbia, and Japan and Spain. Spain are about to... Um, yeah, Spain are about to get eliminated if they lose, but they won't lose against Pakistan. They won't. Uh, Canada or USA later? Um, probably USA. Probably USA. I, I think. Um, group B is already done. And um, there was no contest really. Um, group C, quite close. Group D, Italy top that one. Northern Ireland with two points. Group E is a real group of death. Chinese Taipei aren't getting any points in that one. Um, Egypt are currently ahead in Group F. Germany and Malaysia. Malaysia, I think they beat Norway. Did they beat Norway? I think they did, didn't they? Uh, looks like it from the table. Because obviously Singapore would be bottom on goal difference. So yeah, that's a really incredible result. Um, yeah, and then Chile and Bosnia on that one. What differential does Chinese Taipei have? Um... Yeah, Malaysia did beat Norway. Only a 1-0, but still beat them. That's quite incredible, really. Um, Chinese Taipei, one goal and uh, seven against. So, yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Right, another pace drill. Give me freedom, give me fire, give me Ibar or I retire. <laughs> Those messy songs on TikTok are just so out of hand, aren't they? They're just so out of hand, like, <laughs> they're just like, they, like any song in the world, and then it just goes, messy, like that, and then it's just like a load of laughing, it's just like, what is going on? Like, Ronaldo fanboys have really lost the plot, but then Messi fanboys do that to Ronaldo as well. It's, it's really funny, it's just, what a time, what a time to be alive, what a time to be alive in the world of football. Yeah, uh, Chinese Taipei holding up quite well. So we've got Japan. Should, it's a nothing game, but I would like to win it. Argentine and Goblin. Yeah, that, that little picture of him in um in a, a PSG shirt and he looks like a goblin or whatever. It's just it's just so funny, but like it's just like so weird at the same time. Like I, I don't think any football... Like, I bet you Maradona and Pele never got made fun of in that regard like that, ever. But because of social media and stuff like that, it's just so out of hand. 
Could you imagine if Pele and Maradona were like around, were around as young footballers, like in this generation, and then they saw TikToks of themselves getting like put into like, like goblins and stuff like that. It's just like, what the hell? <laughs> this just doesn't make any sense. I like it when people do it to Haaland though. Halland, it's really funny when people do it to Haaland. It's really funny. Like if Haaland has like if Haaland has a really bad game, then um, you know, people like say like Paland and stuff like that. I think that's just so funny. It's nothing game but you could just screw over Spain maybe, yeah. I mean but the thing is it might um it might ruin my form going into the round of sixteen. It might ruin the form. So I kind of want to win this game. Maradona definitely got made fun of because there's a cocaine addiction. addiction. Yeah, probably. You're probably right, actually. Um, Pele, these days, people always disrespect Pele. They're always like, oh, he played against farmers. It's like, he still, he still won, like, three... He still, like, won, like, two or three World Cups. How many, how many he won? I can't remember. Was it three or two? It must have been... Must have been three. But... Yeah, he still won three like World Cups. Like, please put respect on the man's name. <laughs> People these days forget. They really forget, don't they? It's like, how could you disrespect Pele? Like, one of the greatest footballers of all time. Matic. Oh, unlucky. I remember Maradona watching like Messi score and he pretended to die. It was really weird. If Maradona was here to see Messi lift that World Cup, it would have been special. Super special. That is funny, to be fair. Yeah, it is funny. Pele counting the goals that he scored in his garden. That is really funny. I think Nunez should start doing that. <laughs> Get more goals. Ah, oh, what a surprise. Spain are 1-0 up against Pakistan. 83rd minute, still 0-0. I reckon it's going to extra time, don't you, Abdulovic? I think Croatia are gunning for that extra time period. Oh, what? Why did you run away from it? Oh, Japan, really? Imagine the pressure on the next Argentine player to win the World Cup. Probably Julian Alvarez. Yeah, probably. Yeah, the amount of pressure would be huge because you'd be compared to Maradona and Messi as well. It's mental. Mental amount of pressure. Because it's different in Portugal, isn't it? Because Portugal have already won silverware back in 2016. Um, so even if Ronaldo doesn't win a World Cup, I think he'd still be like, regarded as like the best in Portugal and stuff like that next to Eusebio but um Messi if he never won a World Cup then people would never let that go it would have been definitely a different attitude in Argentina towards Messi they would have said oh Maradona is always the greatest blah 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 sort of thing but with Ronaldo I think it would have been a different attitude maybe in Portugal Oh, yeah, I got scared then. I was like, no, don't you dare, Spain. If there's any game I want Spain to lose, it'll be this one, like, tonight. Please. Fatty almost scored. Oh, really? That's so, it's so frustrating, but at the same time, it's like, it's only a part of the game, it's fine. It's not the whole game where Spain have been... Absolutely all over Croatia. Croatia have had chances as well. 
But I do fear that I'm going to get disappointed at the end of the night. Don't get me wrong, it'd still be okay for Spain to win it for me, but Croatia's much better, in my opinion, like, just to win a trophy. Japan are, like, really holding me off here. Doing well. Yeah, Messi would have been stuck in Maradona's shadow. Whereas, like, Ronaldo, it would have been a different attitude in Portugal, I think, because of that Euro 2016 stuff. Because even in the final, he came out and, like, basically, like, coached that team, in a way, alongside the Portuguese coach. So, obviously, that's quite, like, iconic, in a way. 30 likes, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. They did, to be fair, they did. They did win more World Cups than Ronaldo. It's a shame that Ronaldo never won a World Cup, but at the same time... With the current Portuguese team, could you really still think that they would have done it? Probably not, right? Ronaldo has a Euro. If he never wins the World Cup, he'd still be one of the best. That's what I mean. It's probably like different attitudes. Because Maradona has like because Maradona has already won Argentina a World Cup, um, you know, the pressure is massive to win more World Cups. But Portugal have never won a World Cup. They've only won a Euros. Do you eat red meat or only chicken? And I eat a lot of like vegetables and fruit as well. I eat a lot of vegetables and fruit and stuff like that, you know. Um, just try and keep myself healthy. I try not to, I try not to eat like rubbish all the time. Like I've got chocolate here, but I haven't really eaten it. I've only eaten like two pieces of it. I probably put it back in the cupboard in a minute because I'm not not feeling like chocolate on a hot day like this. It's probably melted, to be fair. <laughs> you know, I think it's okay. It's still okay. Pretty good squad at the World Cup. Yeah. I think against Morocco, they were slightly, slightly unlucky-ish. Never won a Copa America, Maradona? Whoa. So Messi does have that over him. Oh my god, Japan. Perisic was the one who cleared it off the line. What an absolute don. I love Perisic. I think he's class. NFL, there was tons of great players who never won a Super Bowl, but were considered the best. Same in the NBA as well. You Like Chris Paul and um, Steve Nash considered some of the best players of sort of this like sort of era. Never, never won a championship. Never won a championship. Not yet, anyway. I mean, Steve Nash, you can't win a championship anymore. But uh, Chris Paul still has a chance. And that's a goal for Japan. Ah, oh, damn it. My favourite fruit. Um, I like blueberries, raspberries, strawberries, kiwis. Um, my favourite vegetables. Um, I like spinach. I really like spinach. Yeah, Benjamin Mendy was not guilty, yeah. Um, he got cleared for all of it. He got cleared for all of it, dude. Well, I think all of it. I think there's still, like, a couple of, like, the cases still to be solved. But, like, yeah, pretty much most of the, the stuff was, like, yeah, not guilty. Crossed in. Oh, I thought I was going to sneak in. Yeah, he still's got to face some some trials or something like that. I can't believe that Mason Greenwood is still a free man. I still can't believe that with that with that audio that spread around social media. How is that man not in jail? How? Come on, like, and how are Man United letting him back on the squad next season? It's just disgraceful, really. Really, is disgraceful. Strawberries? Yeah, I love strawberries. It's just a shame that strawberries are quite expensive, so I can't eat them all the time. They're quite expensive out here. Do I like basketball? Yeah, I love basketball. Love NBA. I've always wanted to do an NBA stream. And I will one day, when I get 
away from international football for a little bit. Oh, that was good tackle, Japan. Yeah, they should have. They should have offloaded Greenwood a while ago. But he's listed as a, a player this for next season. He's listed as a player. It's like, what? I hope then I hope they're kidding. I hope they're kidding or something. Cause that is just actually atrocious decision making. And it's so fun it's so weird as well because like the comments were like, Oh my god, my star boy's back. It's like really? You idolize that kind of person? <laughs> you idolize that kind of person? Oh good save. If only Great Britain had a good basketball team. I've seen Great Britain play basketball against the United States. And the United States destroyed us. I think it was like 150 to like 60 points or something like that. That was back in 2012, I think. What is going on here, man? Yeah, I watched the 2012... Um, I watched the 2012 Olympic basketball team of um, uh, GB, Team GB. It wasn't the best, but it was still alright. I still got to see USA, and that was fun. Oh, what a save! <laughs> what? I don't. Can't say I have Amaretta. I can't say I have. Oh, uh, we gonna drop this game against uh, Serbia, but that does screw over Spain. It does screw them over. So if they do beat Croatia tonight, if they do, then yeah, F you Spain in advance. <laughs> so we lost against Japan, but that helps Japan go through. So I think that's a W, I think, in a way. In a small way, it's a W. I don't know, actually. Did Spain overtake them on goal difference? Oh, come on. Look at that. How close is that? Oh, my God. Look at that. I thought Japan would have got through in that situation. But instead, Spain... <sighs> That's so unlucky for Japan. Going to be awkward when Ten Hag introduces Greenwood to training next season? Yeah, exactly. It's just super awkward. Because everybody knows what... What, um... What happened... We're against Colombia for our next match, by the way. This is your round of 16 table. Two yellow cards for Croatia in 10 minutes. That better not be ascending off, if ever. It better not be. So we've got Serbia for, versus Colombia, Greece versus France, Russia versus Spain, um, Italy versus Venezuela, uh, Portugal versus Egypt, Germany versus Belgium, Netherlands versus Brazil, and somehow Bosnia versus Singapore. How did Singapore get through? Oh, okay. Well, they're in a... Well, Singapore got another W. Where's that coming from? Where is that actually coming from? Um, well, they beat Malaysia. Singapore, where are you? I know they beat Norway. They beat Norway 2-1. Okay. Um, where is it? Oh, they beat Malaysia 4-0 as well. So... Wow, good on you, Singapore. Good on you. But I bet Germany thrashed him. Yeah, they did, 3-0. Hey, Sean, how you doing? You missed a few good runs. It's because Spain beat Japan? Ah, I see. Okay. So, depending on what happens, this might be the last run of the night, possibly. Unless I can win against Colombia. UAE beating Namibia 5-1, yeah. Full-time Croatia and Spain 0-0. Extra time it is then. Extra time it is. Please don't let me down, Croatia. Please, please. Don't be the bridesmaid again. Be the bride this time. Don't be the bridesmaid. I don't want Croatia to be that team 
you know, that just keeps losing finals and stuff like that. A couple of players are out of form because of that Japanese result. So, um, you know, it is what it is. We go again, extra time. Come on, Drummer Slayer. Get through it, dude. Come on. we got to do it. We have to, right? Croatia have to do it. 2014 Colombia. It's going to be a different one because obviously, you know, they got Jackson Martinez and players like that. Really good players. Um, I know on the bench that they got um, a Barbo. I know they do. Um, <laughs> so I'm not looking forward to when he comes on the field because a Barbo is fast. Fast as anything. What time is it? It must be like nearly... Oh, it's only half nine. That's fine. That's fine. You are the Warriors. Yes, exactly, dude. Did you have a good dinner, Sean? I hope you had a good dinner. Surprisingly, I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. I Well, I had dinner anyway, but I'm not hungry. After about four hours of streaming almost... Is he not on the game? Ah, oh, what? A barber was an absolute unit on FIFA 15 and 16. A FIFA ultimate team icon, basically. Remember, a barbo, Dumbia and um, Jovino. I never forget those days. Never forget them. Right, hopefully Colombia are not very good on this game. Our form is dented a little bit, but that's okay. Wow, it's quite late in Egypt then. Sorry about that, Abdullah. <laughs> don't know if you have to be up early in the morning tomorrow. I don't. I'm going to spend tomorrow doing... My workouts and stuff like that. I'll edit a video as well for you guys tomorrow. So I'll put something out on Monday perhaps. Crossed in. Ooh. Have I ever hugged Mohammed Reza Shah? I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is, dude. Even if it is someone bad in real life, I don't even know who that is. Markovic. That was unlucky. Oh, come on. That should have been... Okay, we got the ball back. It's okay. It's okay now. Colombia resilient so far. Serbia also. Although I could use the players not... Well, they could stop falling over randomly. Just like they did against Pakistan. Stop falling over. Crossed in. Oh, that's going to be back post, but it's offside. They're playing in Feyenoord Stadium in Rotterdam. Yeah, someone said that it was mostly Croatians in the stadium. Mostly, apparently. 30,000 Croatians there. That's pretty good numbers, to be fair, considering they have to travel further. Ref! Come on! Freddy Grauin, get out. No, oh my goodness. Oh, that is absolute. <sighs> Ramos has scored and that is 1-0. He's not on the 2010 World Cup game. 
That was so unlucky, man. Because like, I couldn't tackle Guawin. I couldn't tackle him. Like, oh, I just don't know. This game has just in, had it in for me, hasn't it, tonight? I don't want to go out in the round of 16 again. Oh, it's always like over hit. It always is. <gasps> yes! Oh, I thought I scored the first shot, but Matic was there to put it in. My goodness, what a shot that was by whoever hit that on the edge of the box. And the Colombians are furious, even though they literally scored the same shot. Oh, how did that not go in, that initial shot? That would have been a worldie. Unbelievable. 1-1. One, one. Really? Again? Okay. It was lucky that Matic was there. It was lucky that he was there. Otherwise, they wouldn't have scored. It's hard to tackle Colombia. They seem quite strong. I thought that Serbia would have been quite strong, you know? The, like, Eastern European build and everything, you know? You know, they're absolute... They're beasts out there in, like, that sort of part of the world. Like, tough guys and stuff. So how are they not, like, shrugging off the likes of Colombia? I don't know. Crossed in. Ah, Hang on. Oh, unlucky. Really, dude, you should have headed that. 100%. Oh, came over and just snatched the ball off of me. Out to you. Oh, it always gets blocked. Always. Come on. Back to the goalkeeper. And, oh, such a tough game. Such a tough game, man. Okay, well, it is 1-1 one, one between these two. As long as we don't make any stupid errors, we can drag this out to penalties again, maybe. Or just get a lucky goal like we did earlier. It's been really tough. Have I ever played the journey? If, if no, you should play it on live stream. I have played it before, but I have been thinking about playing that on live. Because so I do have FIFA 17, 18, and 19, so I wouldn't mind doing that. Because the first journey was really fun. I really enjoyed it when it came out. I think I, um, my first, my team that I went for back when I did the journey, I think I did it with, I think it was like Hull City, I think. I think. And, um, yeah, that was just really fun and it felt realistic as well. Columbia are really good on this game, aren't they? They are on any FIFA game. Tadic on the ball. Through ball here, and it's Jurik. Look at him go. Oh, what an expert tackle. I should not have turned. I should have just kept going. Alex Hunter, yeah. Yeah. I always thought that Alex Hunter was supposed to be like this sort of like representation of like how Rashford kind of like um, rose to stardom in a way. In a way, like I thought like that was the inspiration behind it because Rashford was kind of like popping off in like 2016, 17, wasn't he? So I thought EA did that because of Rashford. What's the club you like the most apart from Yeovil and Liverpool? I kind of have a soft spot for West Brom. I know that's a really like strange thing, but... West Brom have always been a club that I like. They're, they're an okay team. I don't mind them. Oh, 
Oh, why did it not let me select player? That's so dumb. They should bring back the journey. Nah, they won't. They won't. Sadly, they won't. EA will just bring out the same game as FIFA 23, but you'll just notice some small differences because it's not EA Sports anymore. It's, well, not FIFA anymore, sorry. It's under a different brand. Oh, this is so awkward sometimes to play. EA only care about modes that make money? Yeah, exactly, like Ultimate Team. Ultimate Team in FIFA 24 is going to be so, like, uh, monetized and stuff like that. Like, way more than it usually is. Because you think FIFA are not part of the license anymore, so they don't they can do whatever they want, really. I mean... If they did before, they can still do it now. I'm getting bullied here by Colombia. Matic! Oh, what the hell? No! Why is this game so awkward? Look, passing it around. So, just trying to get in front here. Matic, again, blocked. It's super frustrating. You miss when EA didn't care about money? Yeah, I do too. These games are a prime example of why they didn't care about money. Because they'd actually make a licensed World Cup game for the World Cup. And obviously, you know, it's only going to be relevant really during the World Cup. It's only going to sell once and then that's it. Unless you're a super fan like me. Oh my god, Colombia. Okay, well, that is um one one after um after uh thingly uh full time. I remember when EA got the rights for Plants vs Zombies and then Plants vs Zombies were pay to win mobile game. Do you know what though? Aside from Plants vs Zombies on mobile, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare one two and two and Battle for Neighborville. I really enjoyed those games. And I still play Battle for Neighborville in my spare time. I still play those. I, I still think they're really fun. Like those those games. But yeah, Garden Warfare 2 had quite a lot of microtransactions on it. Like plants. and You can buy plants and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And zombies as well. But um, yeah. I don't know who to put on. Sulamali? I could. Uh, yep, Sulemani. Um, I don't really know who else. Put on Djordovic. Mm, he's not really fast. Oops, not Insta Replay, please. Remember when Juventus signed a deal with Pez so FIFA couldn't call him and they called him Pierre Monte Calcio? Yeah, I remember that. My ultimate team name on FIFA 23 is Pierre Monte Calcio. As a throwback to that. I think that's a cool little like thing that EA put in the game on FIFA 23. That you can have your ultimate team name as Pierre Monte Calcio. The original Plants vs. Zombies always give me the biggest nostalgia. Yeah, true. Yeah. Plants vs. Zombies on the, the original on mobile and stuff was really good. But I loved Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare. Like, 3D against people online? Yes, please. I love that. I love that game so much. And the great thing about it as well was that, like, 
you can literally get into a game. What was that? And and you can literally get into a game and um, literally like massacre the whole lobby because you know it'd just be like children. So you just like get like fifty kill games every time. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> such an easy game, but so fun at the same time. Wish Columbia would just stop, man. I had it on Xbox 360. Am I not watching the Nations League finals? Um, I'm. I just got it on text right now. I I can't watch it because I haven't got any streaming services available for me right now, which sucks. But I want Croatia to win, and I'm sure most people do, apart from Spanish people, of course. <gasps> Yes! Come on, Suleimani! Yes! Come on. Will you watch the FNAF movie? I'm not sure, dude. I'm not sure if I will. You had it on Xbox 360? I had Plants vs. Zombies on, well, Garden Warfare 1, 2 and Neighborville on Xbox One. I loved it. I loved those games. Like I said, I still play Battle for Neighborville. Still play it. So that took a while, but we're 2 1 up. Core alive. I could get that up on my phone. I mean, I got the text. I got the text thing right now. And I got you guys in chat. So I got two sources of information. Could we get a quarter final out of this? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Fantastic challenge. And here comes Tadic. He's got no stamina, but he's still battling. Colombia are really physical. Like, they battled me off the ball so easily. Feels like Serbia are literally just not using their muscles in this game, really. Apart from that last goal, where we caught them lacking at the back. Ah, uh, no. No! Oh, thank God for that. <sighs> well, it was too close for comfort, that one. Way too close for comfort. Just get it out. Just boot it out of field. I don't care. It's literally like one minute. Yes. Oh, no. Please, ref. Blow the whistle. Blow the whistle. <laughs> there we go, boot it away. That'll do. We're in the quarterfinals, come on. 104th minute still nil nil. Wow, it's gonna go to pens, isn't it? It's gonna go to pens. We just beat Colombia 2 1 with Serbia. We're in the quarterfinals. Lovely. We actually get a quarterfinal run tonight. 10 shots to Colombia, 7. Very, very um, even game. And we got France. No. <laughs> Why, Greece? Why did you not beat France? I'm I'm dead in this one. I'm actually dead and gone, I think. Right, what's the quarterfinals looking like? So we got Serbia versus France, uh, Portugal versus Germany, Brazil versus Bosnia, and Russia versus Italy. Russia beat Spain 1-0. That's kind of like shades of 2018 right there, in a way. Um, yeah, well, Italy had to squeeze by uh, Venezuela. Chant for Yemen. Next, New for Nations League, they're going to have to go top through each from each league instead of one team. Third place from each group will be playing relegation. Nice. You got a PS3 to play the old FIFAs again? Nice. 
I love that. See, old Thiefers are so much better than new Thiefers. Even though I, I like Thiefer 23, but I still think old Thiefers are better. Three hour live stream? Yeah, nearly four hours, dude. Nearly four hours. I was like, I said to myself today, I was like, you know what, I'll just do a mini live. And it's turned into a normal life. So yeah, I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy. Okay, defending drill because we're against France. Ah, oh, missed him. Damn it, Tosic. <laughs> it isn't France from 2018. Yeah, I know, but still, it's still France, isn't it? It's still France. You know, they're still gonna get some cheap goals against me and stuff. Serbia could do like a a Croatia here maybe and actually play play into the semis. Yeah, that's true Abdulovic. Salah really did change the opinion of a lot of people, especially in England. I mean, I love Salah. I think he's amazing. Amazing human being. Amazing human being. Same with Mane as well. Marnie's awesome. I love Marnie for his charity work in his own village and stuff. Obviously not the strongest French team, but still could beat me. Yeah, Morocco as well in 20, uh, well, this year as well. Well, yeah, World Cup even, I should say. Quarterfinal legs will be two matches. Ah, okay. So they're making it kind of like a sort of like a Carabao Cup sort of like semi-final tie in a way. <clears throat> right, here we go. And France is probably going to be the last match of the video, uh, not video stream, um, because, well, it's France, isn't it? But at least we get to play a quarterfinal. That's probably the furthest we've gone tonight, so I'm happy with that. I'll take that. And, um, yeah, Serbia have been good. Even though I said at the start that they were rubbish against Pakistan, they've um, turned it around, really turned it around. Here we go, then. France versus Serbia. At least we had a few days to recover from the Colombia match. Like, it wasn't just directly straight after this one. How is that foul? I don't understand it. And that wasn't the position of the ball, but I'll take it anyway. They better not score this. Win the match or, or you're blocking me. <laughs> I'm going to try and win against France, but... I mean... You know, this is, 20, this is 2014 France... You know, it, they are beatable. They're not like invincible like 2023 France or 2018. Imagine seeing me sing karaoke. I've done it before. I've done it before in like, um, you know, nightclubs and stuff. Ramadan Benzema is coming on. Really, Sean, that's really sad. Just because you're from Russia doesn't mean that you do all those things or you support the regime and stuff like that. It's the same with, like, North Korea as well. Like, you can meet a North Korean, but they wouldn't, they wouldn't exactly support the regime if they saw the outside world and stuff, you know? So, yeah, stereotyping sucks. People said that about my partner as well when I met, when I met my partner. They were like, oh, uh, she only wants you because of your visa and stuff like that. It's like, really? <laughs> like, really? We've been together for like four years. I would have known by now if that happened.
Yeah, stereotyping does suck. It does. France moving the ball around quite nicely here. They should be, to be fair. They are a five-star team. Eh, come on. Jorick. No, oh, I overran it. Damn it. Damn you, Lloris. How did that stay on? Through ball. so hard to get past this French defence. They literally catch you up and just knock you over as soon as like they get like a touch of the ball. Come on. France are just being irritating now. They're just moving the ball around. Not really any purpose to it. They're just trying to break me down. Which I guess is realistic. But Serbia will not be broken that easily. Please clear it properly. Ah, uh, why? Oh, that was lucky. Very lucky. Alright, well, it's nil-nil still. And, um... Well, France have had the better half, but we are trying to push them. So, at least it's not going to be, like, destruction. But there's something needs to change. <laughs> Is that true, Abdulovic? Matic, the absolute beast in midfield. Almost, almost scored. See, that really confuses me when you say Almo because, like, I think he's Croatian, but isn't he actually spat like plays for the Spain team? Am I right in saying that, or am I completely wrong? Oh, always the last man that stops the through ball. Matawidi. Yeah. That's what I mean. I was like, hang on. Danny Olmo's Spanish, not Croatian. But he is from... He does have Croatian in him, doesn't he? Yeah. So it's just like, it's so annoying. Imagine if he scored. Imagine if he scored against um, Croatia. That would have been like really bad. France, stop it. Stop bullying me. Done. Up 
Oh, almost scored. Good play by Serbia to get in a decent position. Nazri's coming on. Jeremy Menez comes off. Tosic to whip it in. Oh, I thought for a second that it could have. Oh, Croatia almost scored now. It's going to go to penalties, isn't it? You can just tell. You can just tell it's going to go pens. If it goes to pens, I'll stick around. I'll stick around. Just to see if they win. But I am out if Spain... If Spain win the Nations League, I am immediately out. <laughs> pen! Pen! Oh my god! That is a blatant pen if you've ever seen it. He... Oh my goodness. You can't believe that, can you? France. Pen. Should have been. Easily a pen. Oh, no, 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 no. Good save. If France scored that, that would have been bull. I should have had a pen in the uh, um, box earlier on. Easily should have. Oh, so frustrating to play this team. Croatia win on penalties? I hope so. That's the only hope they have unless they get a last minute goal. Oh, this game's physics is so... Oh, it's so annoying sometimes. I literally stole the ball off of France and then the game was like, no you didn't. It's like, okay. It's just... Uh, don't get it. Come on, man. They do like to body block you quite a lot in this game, don't they? Like, they do some sort of thing where it like, stops you from tackling them. It's really like... I don't know. It's weird. Ref! Oh my god, you got to be kidding me, man. That is so bull. He got in the way of... I know it was uh, full time, but still. <sighs> that was a tough game. Because France were better than me. But they, we had chances as well. But, yeah, I just don't... I can't see us winning it. Unless we do something to change this. Um, I'm going to have to take this guy off. He's basically done for the today. Um, just put on the same people as we did last time, I guess. Um, put that guy on. And Suleimani was pretty good as well when we put him on. So... Let's put Suleimani on for Tosic. Let's put on Basta as well. Let's put on Basta. Basta. You're stressed for Serbia? Me too, dude. Like, I'm really feeling... I'm, I'm doing well in this run. If I can just get past France. If. It might have to drag it to pens. Just like Croatia are doing right now. Or well, trying to do at least. Oh, oh my goodness. You could not make that up if you tried. He miscontrolled it. It went behind him. And... I'm okay, dude. I'm just trying to... Keep my wits about me in this match. Computer's being intentionally awkward. It knows that it's going to annoy me by scoring a late winner. I can feel it. I can feel it. It's going to happen. Oh, 
always. Just never enough on the, the power. At least Matic is actually like being good in midfield. But... It's so frustrating. Like, you literally make a good pass and, yeah, just... Just goes, nah. Just nah. Reverie crosses it in. That was a bit of fortune. Kapue. Or Kapu even. Come on, make a run, Serbia, please. Oh, really? It's always just like a rubbish pass that always outdone done us. You have to be literally perfect on this game. 2023 Nazri. Yeah, imagine. Toughest game that I've played tonight. 100%. That was close, by the way. That was so close. Oh, France are just like so frustrating. Such a frustrating team. I just can't get past them. And when I do, I always mess up the shots or the pass. Oh, come on. Ref, you can't be giving those light fouls to France. I did go far with Serbia, to be fair. Further than I expected. So, if France scored this free kick, then, well, don't blame me. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That, that was a poor free kick. We could squeeze it out in penalties. There's still chance. Actually, for the last 15 minutes of the match, did we already make a triple substitution? I think we did, didn't we? Yeah, we I think we did. Yeah, we did. No, damn it. Yeah, France are literally like a fortress right now. It's crazy. As Serbia begin to tire out as well, France are going to get way more into the game. Kapu, Debushi, tackled, he made the wrong error. Well, he made the right decision making that error, but... Not make the referee. Love to see that over the top. Please get there. Please. Yes. That's good control. Uh, no, it's always that. Ugh. Damn it. So annoying. Like that pass didn't have to be that bad, but it was. And I keep missing tackles. Don't get frustrated. That's what the game wants. It wants me to get frustrated. At least it's been an okay nil-nil. Like, it hasn't been, like, super boring, I guess. I don't know about you guys. Please, yes, penalties. Penalties. Alright, that's it. this is our last chance to win the game. Because Nazri became fat, yeah. Fat Nazri would have been, like, unreal to deal with. I wouldn't be able to tackle him. Right, here we go then. This could be it. If I get knocked out, then this is the last match of the stream. I will, however, stick around to see if Croatia or Spain win on penalties. But if Spain win, then I'm gonna be like, I'm gonna be so sad about that. <laughs> All right, Tadic, come on. Tadic might put too much power on that. Oh, that was so lucky. Okay, that was super lucky. Come on, Nasri. Why? They always do that. All the time. It is hard. It is hard. Suleimani. 
He goes for it. Bang. Top bins. Right. Okay. Benzema, please. Don't you dare score your pen. Oh. Okay. Okay. Collar off. Yes. Come on. Penalty shoot and the Nations League final just like here. Ribbery. Oh. This game. Okay. Matic, please don't fail me. It's in the yellow. I don't like that. But it's fine. Good penalty. Okay. It's Falbrena. The shortest man in the universe. Will he score? Oh, he's blazed it out of the stadium. He's blazed it out of the stadium. And there's a chance for Serbia to win the match. That means we could get a semi-final. Joric. It's in the green. It has to be right. Yes. It came up on Lurie's face. And we did it. We did it. We're sticking around for at least two more games now. Because I just beat France. <laughs> Incredible from Serbia. What a run this has been from Serbia. What a run. Can't believe that. Whew. Um, it hasn't quite finished yet, Bella Potato. It hasn't finished yet. We're against Germany in the semis. So we're basically dead in the semis. So we've got to get that standing tech challenge up. No problem, Joaquin. I hope you have a good one. So we've got two more matches to play then. To finish this World Cup. Really? I want to, I want to re retry that drill. Yeah, you proved me wrong about Serbia, dude. I was saying they were rubbish against Pakistan. And then now they're in the semi-finals. All right then. Okay. So we're going to have to play two more matches. One against Germany and um, then the third place playoff. Don't start the match. Okay, fair enough. I won't start it. I won't start it. Please, Croatia. Can you do the world a favour? Can you do the world a favour? Come on. I'll just um, just be on my phone tracking it. Maybe it might be a little bit faster than your guys. Do I have dinner? Yeah, I've had dinner, dude. I've had dinner. I'm not actually that hungry today. I'm not hungry anymore. This is probably my best on-stream run of 2014. I'm quite happy with that. What time is it in UK? It's 20 past 10. It's 20 past 10. Hold on. Ah, oh, that's better. I literally, like, I had something in my nose and it's just really, like, itchy. I think Spain might take it in pens. Yeah, I think so as well, dude. Um, yeah. Not looking good for Croatia, but come on. Just one penalty save from Levakovic and it's all over. Surely, right? Please. Can we have that? I won't start the match. I'll just go into the screen so then we can do it. We're going to the final, you reckon? What, against Germany? I don't think so, man. It's um, That's a tough team to play against. And our form is a bit mixed as well. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Hi, Tanya. We got to the semis with Serbia. You missed it, dude. You missed it. Come on, Croatia, please. Please, for goodness sake. I hope so. I hope I hope he's goaded in this one. Okay. Apparently the benches are fighting right now. 
Why? Croatia have won four of their, well, won four penalty shootouts. Spain have lost their last three. That's the stat that's come up right now. Croatia scored their first pen. Nice. Come on, Croatia. Come on. Come on, man. Golasso for Croatia. Vlasic has scored the first one. And it's 1-0 to Croatia. Can't get ahead of yourself too, too much yet. The starter penalties are really... Um, well, it's just, you know, feeling each other out, isn't it, really? Play the match, but close the volume. I'll wait, dude. It's okay. I'll wait. It's fine. Because then we can focus on the match afterwards. Because I'm more interested in Croatia right now. My heart is beating for them. I really want them to win this match. Spain scored their pen. It's 1-1. Okay. Would you celebrate if your country won the Nations League? To be honest, not really. It's just another tournament for UEFA to make money. Um, I would celebrate it, but not very hard. You know what I mean? Like, I'd be like, yay, we won it. And then that'd be it. <laughs> I wouldn't, like, go out drinking or anything like that. Or, you know, like a World Cup sort of situation. Um, but, or Euro. But, yeah. I think England would be happy, though, to win it. But Croatia would be super happy with this. 2-1 to Croatia on penalties. You must be ahead of everyone, Sean, because mine is, like, really, really, like, behind. Do I watch the Africa Cup? Um, only if it's live on YouTube. Only if it's like live. I assume you mean the Africa Cup of Nations? Yeah, I do. But, um, yeah. Come on, man. Why is my thing so far behind? It's so irritating. You had the perfect live run, Slovenia, 2014. We can do that next time. For now, though, Serbia will be the last one of the night because it's getting late. And I don't, I don't want to be screaming on live stream when people are trying to sleep. Yeah, you did, Yane, to be fair. Free, free. Okay. I just got the notification now that it's free, free. Um, it'll probably look like Zagreb will go into limbs if Croatia win. Yeah, yeah, they will absolutely. Yeah, Africa Cup of Nations. Yeah, I, I still, I still, um, yeah, I, I do watch it, but only if it's live on YouTube. Sometimes they do broadcast the games live on YouTube. Um, when will the next live stream be? Um, probably Friday because I got a bit of a busy week this week. But Friday is the guaranteed day that I can do a live stream. But today has been really good. Oh, you no, Croatia missed. No. Mm. No. Uh, who missed the pen? <sighs> Please don't tell me it was someone like, you know, someone good. Oh, the keeper went the right way. Ah, oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, I hate football sometimes, I really do. I hate football in this sort of context. Kick save, that's so unfortunate. 
I know it's only the Nations League, but seriously, just so frustrating. Oh, it's down to sudden death then, isn't it? Croatia miss another one, it's game over. As soon as Croatia lose this final, if they do, I'm I'm starting the game. Like I, I don't like want to know about it. So annoying. Football really annoys me sometimes. Even though it's not my nation, I just wanted Croatia to win. So frustrating. 4-4. What? Literally, the chat just said, how is it 4-4? Four, four? Moreno slip? Croatia scored? Oh, no. Sad times, then. Sad times. I'm watching the chat because the chat's faster than my live feed. What we got? Are they going to score? Are they going to score? Literally hate football sometimes. Spain missed. Oh shit, really? Oh wow. Okay, so if Croatia score, does that mean they're, does that mean they're in? Does that mean if Croatia score, does that mean Croatia win? Can someone confirm? Is that how it works? Or is it one more, then Spain have to miss one more? Okay, so they'll take the lead in penalties. Come on, if Croatia miss, then that would just be so annoying. Laporte. Come on, Croatia, come on. Oh, oh, that's it. Then it's over, isn't it? Oh, what an app. I hate football sometimes, man. I really do. I hate football sometimes. I hate football sometimes. Why is it always the big teams that win trophies? Damn it. Oh, so frustrating. This is so frustrating. Ah, oh, what a shambles. What an absolute shambles. I don't care about Spain. I literally don't. Like, I really don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care anymore. That's it. Nations League, I don't care about, about anymore. I don't care. What an absolute shambles of a game. So frustrating that Croatia always are the bridesmaids and like never the bride, if you know what I mean, if you get what I mean from that statement. So frustrating. Right, we got Germany in this one. And um, well, let's try and make up for it by getting to the final of 2014 World Cup. Yeah, I do share your opinion now. I don't care about Nations League at the moment. All I care about is beating Germany on this game. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying because like Spain is such a... Oh, I don't know. I don't want to say too much, but they're just... It's just so boring, isn't it? Like Spain winning another title. I know it's only a minor international trophy, but still, it would have been nice. It would have been nice. 
Yeah, probably. You're probably right. I don't think Croatia will win anything anymore. Once that, once Luka Modric retires, then that'll be it. That'll be it. Another second place medal for Croatia, though. I guess they can be proud of that. But, yeah. Spain can do one. <laughs> they can actually do one. Oh, what? I tried to do it early. Damn it. Yeah, true, Mr. Krabs. It is another tournament to make UA for money. It is. It just would have been nice, you know? Let's just try and win this match with Serbia. I hope we can. That would be nice. I like that. That's offside. Stay away from it. <clears throat> um. Hmm. See you later, Yane. Yeah, Patrick, I get it. I, I know you're trying to rub it in right now, but yeah, um, you know, it's fine. It's just so frustrating that Croatia lost another match. It's so annoying. Like, I really wanted success for that team. I just think it's so, it's so vanilla on, on like, just like Spain winning trophies. But it's okay. It's okay. I don't mind. I don't mind. It is what it is. <gasps> come on. Yes. Come on. Come on. That makes up for it. Screw you. <laughs> Screw you, Germany. Even though you had nothing to play. Well, you had nothing, no part to play in the Nations League. You glad Spain won? Or is Croatia will go level on trophies with England? Yeah, but it's a minor international trophy, isn't it? It's a minor one. Congratulations to Spain. I wanted Croatia to win at the end of the day. Things don't go always your way. That's true. You gotta look at it like that. You really gotta look at it like that. It's just, um, yeah. It's just unfortunate. Sometimes things don't go your way. It's okay. It's okay. At least, at least, um, Arsenal didn't win the league this league, this season. <laughs> That's probably the main thing I can take away from it. Oh, come on. <laughs> Damn it. Why did Germany shoot from anywhere and it just goes straight in? It's so frustrating. There we go. 1-1. One, one. <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, this is... Uh, Yeah, so did I, uh, Abdulovic, but it's fine. Sometimes great players don't win things for their international teams. Look at Ibrahimovic for one. So. Come on. Well, it's still 1-1, which is good result in the semi-finals. I'm a bit deflated, but it's okay. Um, we'll pick ourselves up, hopefully, with this win against Germany, if we can get it. At least we extended this run to have a good run, you know? It's probably my finest, one of my finest basic runs I've done on 2014. And it's live as well, which is, um, again, a little bit more impressive, doing it live. Oh, come on.
Uh, Germany, good save. Into the bo box. Ooh. Okay, well. Still 1-1. One, one. I like how Ser I like how Serbia kind of like just sort of clawed their way here, if you know what I mean. They've clawed their way to um, this semi-final. Ref, that better not be a pen. Oh, okay, cool. No. Oh. Clear it. Thank you. FIFA 23 life career mode. Yeah. I could do that in the future again. I really enjoyed our Mallorca career mode. I kind of, like I said at the start of the stream, I kind of want to like go somewhere else with Perlo, if you know what I mean. Like go either to England or the Bundesliga. New challenge for Perlo. Go on. Oh, is this the last run of the night? Yeah, sadly. It's getting late, dude. Novakovic went on holiday. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. But, you know, it's okay. Infinite hells for Spain. <laughs> nah, it's okay. They can have the Nations League if they want. It's okay. Oh, that would have been a really fantastic goal. Come on. Come on, Serbia. Are we going to drag it to pens again? I mean, we've got another game to play after this anyway. Either um, a third place playoff or a final. I'm hoping it's a final. It's probably going to be against Brazil, though, right? The final. I think I've sort of think, thought that it's probably going to be against Brazil. No. Oh, that was close. Goalkeeper's made some decent saves. I love how Germany just track my every move. They're like... Super good on this game. I know they won the World Cup, but still. <laughs> so. I don't know. Go on, Matic. Oh, okay. Come on. I gotta stop over committing to challenges as well. I gotta be a bit more. Um, better at getting in front of our man. Like here, for example. No, good. England losing the Euros over to Italy. Yeah, it is more sad, to be fair. I was much more sad than that. I just feel sorry for Croatia, in a way. You know, getting to, in recent years, getting to a World Cup final. Um, you know, World Cup 2022. Okay, they won the third place playoff, so fair enough. And then now in the Nations League final. But it's okay. It's okay. It is what it is. And, um, you know, it's still a silver medal. So, yeah. Add that to the collection. Please, Germany. Get out. Referee body checked me there. Did you see that? You can just tell that FIFA don't want me to win this World Cup with Serbia. You can just tell. How is that foul? As a German, I was happy when Italy won because the English fans were mocking us on Twitter. Yeah, that's what we do. That is what we do. We just we just troll people. We just get a little bit too ahead of ourselves in terms of like World Cups and tournaments and stuff. England fans always getting ahead of themselves with stuff like that. But hey, you know. One day we'll do it. One day. I can't believe I scored that goal. I can't believe... Uh, Neuer made that massive error. He's just like Carius. 
Right, I'm going to put on my favourite players. Tadic is coming off. And um, who can we put on? This is not good. Suleimani can play there, I guess. Um, this guy was okay when he was in CDM. Matic is tired, but I need him, man. I need him. So, yeah, put him on. And then this guy... Uh, Jordovic again? Yeah, why not? Uh, half time? No, full time. We're in extra time right now against Germany. Extra time. Ninetieth minute, and um, it's still anybody's game in this one. No, that's absolute... Mm. <laughs> oh, I knew it. As soon as I tried to clear it, Schweinsteiger just took it away from me. I was like, please, don't you dare. He did anyway. 98th minute. Serbia, really deep run tonight. Really extended the stream, which is cool, I guess. You know, I don't mind. It's not that late anyway, so I don't mind it at all. Good stream highlight as well. Hope Canada wins CONCACAF Nations League. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Imagine if Canada did do it. Imagine. If I wake up tomorrow and Canada win it, then that would be insane. But again, then again, I realistically think the United States are going to win it. No! Oh, closer! Um, why do Germany always shoot from like... Well, not like distance, but they shoot from anywhere and it goes straight in most of the time. It's just, they're so overpowered, but, like, they deserve that o overpoweredness because, you know, they they won the World Cup. Ooh. But, yeah, this Serbia team might be going out here an extra time. Yes, they deserve to lose because they rehired Greg... Barholter, yeah. <laughs> what confuses me is how Italy don't qualify for World Cups. But in, in the Euros, they won it. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? I mean, Macedonia did happen. That was a bit of a freak result. But it is strange. <laughs> Germany so annoying. I played them like twice a night and once is enough. Oh, a bunch of divers, honestly. <laughs> No, that's that's it. That's game over. They absolutely done me there. <sighs> Germany are going to the final. Serbia are going to the third place playoff. At least he did the no celebration celebration. That's kind of a little bit classy from the AI. Still frustrating though that we couldn't really do more in this game. I hate playing Germany, though. It's such a hard team to play against. Such a hard team. Damn it. Okay, well, it's not over for Serbia. We still have one more game. Uh, third place playoff. We could have Serbia's best finish ever. 
if we win it. It was quite a close game, but Germany just were more clinical. Way more clinical. But, um, yeah. I wonder who we'll go against. No, I'm not going to simulate it. I'm going to play it, dude. Because it's against Brazil. Greece was just a freak tournament win. Yeah. It was a little bit, to be fair. But, you know, fair play to them. Fair play. We got Brazil in the third place playoff final. So, that's quite a tough game. It's always France and Germany, I know. Well, we beat France in the, the round previous. But, yeah. Yeah, Germany did deserve it. They're way better than Serbia. 100%. Like, there's no argument about that at all. Jorge, do you want me to finish this training? Okay, maybe you don't. Hey, Thomas. Thank you for the $10 donation. Thank you so much. Yeah, it is better than Serbia I've ever done in any tournament. That's class. Thank you so much. That's made me feel a little bit better about Croatia. Why does Joric not want me to finish this training drill? Why is he like this? Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Thomas. Just to let you know that I am um, going to do your Macedonia run. Uh, this coming week after I finish Sri Lanka. So don't worry, I'm on the case. So yeah, thank you again. Thank you so much, man. Definitely better than what uh, Serbia have done in any tournament. And I'm hoping to win the third place playoff against Brazil. Who's the final against? Germany versus Italy. It's always Germany, man. Always Germany. Always Germany. Right, last match of the stream. Thank you, Patrick. Have a good day. Last match of the stream against the mighty Brazil. And um, our form, how has that even happened when we lose 3-1 against Germany? That's just so sad. Like, you get that kind of form. You just like, you kind of just think to yourself, why? After losing against a good team like Germany. But we'll try it. We'll try it against Brazil. Euro 2004 was an Otto Ray Hagel masterclass. People get so triggered at, over the fact that Greece played super defensively in that tournament. But, like, of course Greece were going to play like that in that tournament. Right? Like, that is total, like, Jose Mourinho style football at its best. But obviously it's Otto Ray Hagel. <laughs> but still... You know, people get so angry, like, when I see them debate about Greece and stuff, they're like, oh, they're so boring. It's like, well, what else do you want them to do? <laughs> they're not going to go all guns blazing in a tournament, are they? It worked. It worked at the end of the day. Maybe we can do that here against Brazil. Probably not, though. Probably not. I think that Brazil are going to destroy me. Send me to bed. Send me to bed, <laughs> Brazil. Come on. <laughs> Or maybe Serbia can have a wonderful game. Here's to dreaming. Already. Slide tackled. Okay. It's a foul. Oh, I'm sweating now. I really wanted to beat Germany. I tried to swear it out, but game wouldn't let me. Are you hungry or Hungary? I am Hungary, the country. I am definitely Hungary. Look at that ball. Incredible. Look at the passing by Serbia here. Oh, that might actually work, you know. No, pay attention, Tadic. <laughs> Which games are you doing on the Macedonia run? Uh, 2010. 2010, because that's my best chance of winning the tournament. If I wanted to do a challenge, I'd probably do it on 2014. But... I think because you've given me so many kind donations, I think the best chance to do it would be on 2010, just because then I can have a good run on it, if you get what I'm trying to mean, that sort of thing. If I played it on 2014, more than likely I would get eliminated in qualifying. 
more than likely, depending on the group. But at least 2010, I have a solid chance of doing it. But then here, it, with Serbia, I managed to get to the semis. So you never know. You never know. I don't think I'm going to beat Brazil here. They're just so compact at the back. Most of these teams play like this, to be fair. They always play the same. They play like similar style of football. Oh, that was so close to being onside. Mental. Absolutely mental. I love it when you put in a tackle as well. The AI will sidestep you immediately as soon as you press the button. Ref! You can't be serious! Do I like Perlo? Yeah, I love Perlo. I think he's class. That was close. Come on. This is for Serbia. Serbia need this. Just a lucky goal is all we need. Great challenge. Oh, I knew I was going to run into him. Crossed in, no? Oh! Oh! Imagine if that went in. It was just a random shot. I mean, the cross wasn't very good. He controlled it really poorly, but that nearly went in. Macedonia squad in 2010 is better. Yeah, exactly. And it's, um, yeah, and Pandev is probably his best on 2010. Because didn't Pandev win the Champions League with Inter Milan around that time? Was it or was it 2011? I can't remember. When did Inter Milan win the Champions League? 2011, was it? I'm fairly sure he was part of that squad. Maybe he wasn't, I'm not sure. Tadic? Tadic, into the box, no! No! Out to the wing, crossed in, nobody is there! Where are you, Serbia? Where are you? Go on! No, Julio Cesar, diving header, no. <laughs> Correct, 2010, nice. See, Pandev will be amazing to use. I remember my Macedonia basic run I did about maybe two years ago now. I tried to do a run with Macedonia. The first game, Pandev got injured and then I got like eliminated. I was like, classic. That was when Inter won the treble. Amazing. That was under Mourinho, wasn't it? What an absolute masterclass by Mourinho. Think Pandev was even in the starting 11 in the UCL final? I didn't know that. See, he is a good player. He's actually a Macedonian legend. If he's won the UCL, then f fair play. We've actually done really well in this match. D despite our poor form, we've actually done okay against Brazil. But if we let our guard down just once, they'll have me. And that could happen because um, you know how good Brazil are in 2014 until they meet Germany, of course. Oh, no. Please. Of course. That, that move... And uh, Jonas has scored, and he does the easy celebration. <laughs> oh, just one through ball like that? That's all it took? Oh, this game is so annoying. Um, thoughts on City winning the treble? It is a really, really fantastic feat to do it. No matter how much money they spent, the players have still got to perform, right? Um, 
But, yeah, I mean, fair play to them. Fair play. Fair play. I know how hard it is for players to push for a treble or even a quadruple like Liverpool were in 20, uh, 22. That must have been so draining on the players. So, congrats to City for actually doing it. But it is annoying that it had to be City. But I'd rather it be City than someone like Man United or PSG or um, Chelsea <laughs> or something. Good challenge. You hated City winning the treble? Yeah. That's because you're a Man U fan, though. I mean, I don't mind it. I mean, City are rivals with Liverpool, but... Um, look at Brazil here. This is outrageous. Oh, my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. This game is punishing me every time I go up against big teams. I'm surprised I beat France. It was on penalties, but still. Please. Like, why does it keep pinging back to Brazil? This game is hard as nails. Ref, like, these Brazilians are going down so quickly. Look at this. Subotic just, I don't know, it wasn't even a foul. Okay, well, 25 minutes was bound to happen eventually, yeah. And how are you letting that, that, those kind of goals really annoy me. Because, like, they're little bouncing headers on the ground. How is a professional goalkeeper not saving those? Am I going to do a Champions League run? I want to, um, but, uh, well, I did one with Wigan the other day, but it kept, it kept, um, it kept crashing. But I might have to do some more on FIFA 23. I need to do some more on FIFA 23. Yeah, those kind of goals really annoy me. Just like the fact that it was just like a normal header. He could have like saved it. It was bouncing along the ground. And then he went, nah, I give up. It's like, nice one. At least we can mock PSG for spending over 100 million every summer only to win League One and go out in the UCL one, round of 16. Exactly. It is funnier when PSG fail. It's so funny. It is so funny when PSG fail. I still remember back in when Liverpool won the Champions League when we beat them at um, Anfield and Bobby Firmino did the... The eyeglass celebration. That was class. I love that. Even Daniel Sturridge scored against PSG in that game. <laughs> Just like, what? Daniel Sturridge? So Brazil are probably taking the third place medal this time around. What was that? Honestly. Like that, that tackle could have been a pen. But luckily it wasn't. Uh, my motivation for Serbia is kind of gone now, unfortunately. Only 12 minutes to play though, so we did well. But it's just annoying that these big teams have such a stranglehold over you on these runs. Like on 2010, at least they're beatable if you play well. But this game is just so difficult. They're in your face all the time. All the time. That's third. No, it's not. Daniel Sturridge was class in 2013-14. Yeah, I know. Talk about injuries, like, ruining a player. Daniel Sturridge was so good. SAS, Sturridge and St Suarez. So good, man. So good. Markovic, oh, why did you run away from it? Why did you run away from it? I love how you like they, you tackle them and it just no response from any of the players. That's the main thing I hate about 2014. It's realistic, but at the same time, some of the physics just really get on my nerves. Sturridge and Welbeck. 
Not for England. I love how Hulk just stood there while I wasn't even like, looking at the screen. Come on, Brazil. Stop corner tricking me. Serbia have lost this third place playoff, sadly. But we are the smallest team out of the top four to get here. So, you know, credit where credit's due, I guess, for Serbia. They battled their way to this point. Beating Colombia in extra time and uh, France on pens. But this is going to be... No, it's not. Cool. Favourite FIFA game of all time? 2010. FIFA World Cup South Africa. And then probably FIFA 15. FIFA 15 was amazing. And then FIFA 18. And then I'd say probably this game. The best part is that PSG managed to bottle the League One title two times. Didn't they bottle it against um, Lille when Lille won it? That was so funny. They almost bottled it this, this season, right? Weren't Lens like two points behind them or something? Or something like that? Or five points? Something like that? I'm not sure. But, I mean, it, my brain's not working. Um... Who won? Germany, of course. We lost against the winners, which is fair enough. You know, if you're going to lose against the winners, that's fine. And Monaco in 2018. Yeah. But that was with Mbappe, right? Mbappe was in Monaco at that time, right? Was he in Bob? Was he, was he still there or not? I'm not sure. Or did he move in 2017? I can't remember. Advanced to the awards. Dzeko got top goal scorer, Buffon, best goalkeeper, Marco Royce, best player. And um, before we wrap it up, let's just have a look at the stats, the statistics. That's your statistics right there. Um, Dzeko, Jonas, Cochran, Danny, any of my players on there? Um, no, not yet. None of Serbia's players got onto the top 25. Oh, Mbappe already left? Wow. Imagine that. Mandzukic got top assists. That's quite surprising, considering he's a striker, but never mind. Uh, clean sheets, Buffon, we already know that. Uh, yellow, how many red cards? Oh, okay. Well, that just, that never really is, like, surprising, really. Monaco won in 2017 with Mbappe. Oh, okay. So Monaco did it without Mbappe and then with Mbappe? Really? Kind of crazy if they did. Oh, Monaco won it in 2018. It's confusing. People are giving me different answers. That was a really fun run with Serbia though tonight. It was really fun. And the other runs before it as well. We'll have to do it again in the future. Um, yeah. Um, next stream will be on Friday. Only because I've got a lot, a lot of runs to record, like tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for people that have donated and um, stuff like that, and requested it. You know, they paid money, so it's only fair that I do their runs as well. So anyway, that is going to be the end of the stream. I really hope that you enjoyed it today. Um, I really, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Bit. Heartbreaking that Croatia lost the final, but it's okay. You know, no worries. We'll we'll move past it. They got second place. That's still very impressive. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good night or day, wherever you are. Thank you so much for the support, the likes, the comments, uh, the donations, especially Patrick and Thomas. Really, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, and I'll see you again for the next stream or video. Cheers, guys.